Good morning, day, night, evening, afternoon, guys. Welcome and welcome. On. How are you doing? Rolief, Tyler, Victorious, NL, Tim Collins. Welcome, guys. All right. So today, um, today we're gonna continue speed level and just purifier and ultimate, right? So the binder of runes is gonna get to 100 eventually. Igniter, welcome, welcome. Good, you're back. Playing the video Playing game. Playing the video game Omega Lul. <laughs> Thanks for the resub, Envy. Appreciate the support. Welcome back to the Bloomers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, we started off by using an XP pot, going to the cellar, hitting weed off the corruptor. That seems like a good start. Oh yeah, I'm just playing Castor Rune right now, and I'm playing a Searing of Scorching level 40 gun. Kind of scuffed, not gonna lie. Actual Grim Dawn stream. Hey, Sun, so hey, Sun. Welcome in. This drum, man. That's a play time on this character. 250. 252. Could be faster. Could be faster. Sub 5 hours or baby rage? Yeah, it's not gonna be a sub 5 hour. I was, uh, I mean, I'm like new to the game, right? Basically. Last time I played this game was, at least in stream, was quite a bit while ago. And, uh, yeah. I did struggle, like, a little bit compared to when I was playing this the last time. Like, when it came to, like, remembering all the steps and preparing all the gear properly and so on. Casual 7,000 hours, yeah. Basically new to the game, right? Trash command, welcome, welcome. It's Anonic. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, hello. Oh my god, flashbang. Uh, what do I do? Get more vigor. More vigor doesn't sound too bad. Maybe one more point here. And we can get the juicy damage nodes and blind sage after the prisoners. Two big juicy nodes. Taxurka. How are you guys doing? Are you playing some Grim Dawn? Are you playing the playtest? How do you like the newest additions to the playtest? 7 p.m. and still hungover? Wait, have you been drinking on a Thursday? Oh, God. Or you still like hungover from like last weekend? So why the fuck am I going here? What am I doing? I already did this last time. You just gotta go from this portal and do the like zombies on the outside, right? Never played Grim Dawn before. Well, oh shit. It's a good game. It is a very good game. Maybe not the most uh, modern game, but it is a good game. Not true. 80 crystals are never a waste of time. Ohio! The weekend starts on Thursday? Okay, fair enough. We 
if you aren't drinking on a weekday, you're holding yourself back. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be memes. Dude, I went out to drink something with a friend on... when was it? On Tuesday? I mean, drink, like, one beer. Just to, like, have a, have a chat and, like, eat something and have a beer. It was, like, for, like, my... Third beer of the entire year so far? Yeah, I don't drink. Having friends does of cringe. Imagine, right? Imagine. Yeah, I either go full wasted or nothing at all. I mean, if I go, like, actual partying, then I guess as well. But, like, last time I went, like, actual partying was also, like, I don't know. It's been a while, honestly. It's been a while. I've been partying a lot in-game. No echo so far this year. Nice, nice. No friends this year either, eh? <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> Never bothered you until now, but after Ellie and Grandon, you hate identifying items in PoE. Hmm, hmm. Playing Factorian, waiting for season six. Fair enough, fair enough. Understandable. Factorian is a nice game as well. I like it, I like it. Even played it on stream once. Did like a. like a multiplayer, like survival world basically. Like everything to, to like hardest. And then play like multiplayer, like some people from chat. Basically, like play like Factorian Survivor. I mean, I like the... I uh, usually, in a single player, I like the factory building hard way more of the game, but I think for multiplayer, turning it into, turning it into like a kind of survival game is kind of cool too. Do you love IDing items, really? Oh, hmm. I don't know, what's like so cool about identifying items? Is it the mystery when you pick something up? Oh, could it be this? It's like... The suspense is like there for a little longer, because you don't instantly see what it is when it drops. Diablo 2's nostalgia. I think many of the people that actually like it. I've not even played Diablo 2 ever. At least some of them. Think about it, you grind all afternoon after school, bank the value of identified items. Before bed, you must identify, trash all loot to the vendor since it's dog, rare, and go bed with either the next day. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Ellie has you rethinking your position on IDing, and Grim Dawn didn't? What? Yo, Medex, hello, hello. Money balls, welcome in, welcome in. Didn't play Grand Donald's Ball for like a year. Currently rocking Diablo 2 and Nintendo Switch. Interesting. Didn't know that even works on the Switch, even. But he always spent like an hour before bed theory crafting Deep Fighter builds. <laughs> Did you come up with anything good with Deep Fighter so far? Or is it just hashtag dead class? And I played some Deep Fighters myself as well. They, you, you can make it work. But it is like one of the worst classes in a game after all. It's pretty fucking bad. Grimdon drowns you in gear. Yeah, it's true. 
equipped on just like yours too many items. I hope. I hope. They will make it so that... Um, whenever they like... Like usually whenever they added like an expansion, right? They always increased the generic like drops depending on like how many legendaries they like added so that like the average drop chance for like a specific legendary is about the same right so overall you get like more and more and more legendaries like per drop right uh, i hope they're not gonna do that for the next expansion because like drop rates are so high anyway you know. But then again, at the same time, you have like the random guy like on YouTube comments or like on Reddit or wherever saying like they've been farming this item forever and they still didn't get it, right? They've been potent farming for Avenger Blueprints for like days already and they have still not got, got that, right? I don't know. So, I don't know if it's like really too high or if it's more like seven to eight thousand hour gamer self saying that like the drop rates are too high in this game. Well I'll be finally getting around the rise up S tier as an ass tier, yeah. The worst part about PUE is that 95% of the players just copy builds from forums YouTube, that's what's the fun on that. Yeah, I kinda like going more or less blind than PUE as well myself to be honest. But sometimes I'm so blind that like chat is like, dude, just do this, and I'm like, okay, I'll do it. But otherwise, I prefer to go rather blind. But also, then again, I never make it like deep into maps, if at all. So, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Um, I should like grab the other rune after all. Some of these like fire resistant enemies are a little annoying to deal with right now. Like get the rune of Hagrad again. Oh, they take like no damage right now at all. What is this? Although the amount of loot that drops, not necessarily the rates. They really like upped the quality and like reduced the amount of like like what was it, the 1.2 patch? At patch 1.2 really like re reduced the amount of loot that drops. While like simultaneously like increasing the <coughs> At least for green items. While increasing like epic. I wasn't quality. sure you'd make it, but you pulled through. Well, and yeah, was geht, Alter? Was geht, Alter? For an entire year already, Madax. Holy moly. Thanks so much for the continued support. Appreciate it. Welcome back to the Bloomers. That's insane. That's nuts, dude. Eight the chronic pieces seem too low. Have you played in the. the new. Test patch because they've actually increased it in the latest but test patch at least. Yeah, I think Cronley and some other shoulders have like higher drop rates now. If they're not still high enough, then I'll probably like increase them for the seasons a bit. Um, but maybe also like decrease drop chances of all a little bit. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe, maybe. Maybe it wasn't enough. Yeah, maybe it wasn't. One point oh drop rates are perfect. Never bothered with runes and Grim Dawn. Uh, they they're like traps, yeah, basically traps. You lay them down, they like have like a short armoring time, and then whenever like an enemy runs over them or stands on it when you like put it under the enemy, they explode. And also with this patch, they have a 1 second instead of a 1.5 second arming time, which is something that I also did in the season. And uh, yeah, it also obviously like feels better than before, I think. Like the 1.5 seconds arming time felt kind of terrible. Uh, 1 second is, well, less. It's not zero, but the thing is also, if you don't make it like... If you make it zero, then like it looks really, really weird with the animation. So, like 1.0 is, I think, fine for Grimdawn. He's pretty good now. Traps are bad in D4. I guess, I don't know. Is anybody playing the PTR in Diablo 4? Do you guys enjoy the PTR? I think Season 4 is probably gonna be like the best Diablo season ever. Like Diablo 4 season ever. The problem is like the game itself is... 
initially so bad that they're gonna need like a couple of like great seasons for the game to be like actually playable. Very high bar, yeah. I mean, yeah. The game's tree is too complicated and does not let you reasonably respect so people follow builds. Yeah, 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 PoE respect should be easier in my opinion, like it's... Like if PoE respect wasn't as punishing... Sorry, if it was more like... You know, let's see proper Grim Dawn. Then people would be like experimenting way more, honestly. And then you would also like automatically see like more build diversity because like more people would like try more different things and... Um, not follow as many like guides step by step and copy like other builds so even if the game already has right now like crazy good diversity which it probably has but like you don't really like see that because people don't want to experiment they just want to like have something like that that works and safe and like doesn't uh, involve too much respecting either I mean, eventually you will get like enough regrets, right? You can eventually like respect almost everything. I think it's fine to have like some things that are non-respectable, like respectable, like classes, like ascendancies, for example. I think that's that's fine. Like not being able to respect ascendancies is, in my opinion, totally fine. There should be like some permanent decisions that you do. But like at least all the passive tree nodes should be like respectable, respectable, which they are. Um. Just not as easy as they maybe should be. But then again, it's gonna change in PoE2, right? Sentences are actually respect respectable. Oh, are they even? Huh. Well. Even that, eh? You use two sandbox for your taste. I feel like when I look at the sentences, though, like on one hand it's like very sandbox, but on the other hand, like certain sentences are they aren't they like very damage specific? Like some of them that are like generic defense aren't that much, but like some others are like if you don't like build around a certain thing, they're basically useless, right? Like either damage type or like. Like, you don't build, like, Slayer with Leech, for example, it's kind of like, why would you even go Slayer, right? Or, like, if you don't play Berserker with Rage, why would you even, like, play Berserker? If you don't, like, play Fire on Chieftain, like, why would you even play Chieftain, kind of thing? I guess you can still do it, but it seems, at least to somebody like me who doesn't know the game all too well, it seems a bit limiting. I mean, generic percent damage would be a uh, like boring as fuck. Yeah, I agree. Um, I don't know how many like conversion options Pee Wee has. And there are some. The tarnish, welcome. A lot, okay. Purifier, yeah, it's a purifier. So I'll die at some point eventually, right? Yes. It's Avatar of Fire baked into Sketchy now as well. Hmm. Oh, so much loot. I'm 
see what's left of my wares. I kind of hope they're gonna improve the loot better for Grimdon. Thanks about the car. Because at some point you really need one, right? Like the more classes you have, the more affixes you have. Like you gotta filter at some point, man. Yeah, they have changed room under something. It's probably like the most interesting set in this patch compared to like if you have like already play like everything basically. Aether is also interesting with like the wider the wider ray now. And also runes in general have less arming time now. One second instead of 1.2, uh, 1.5 seconds, right? So that's kind of nice too. Uh, hang on, I do have this actually already. Why am I not using it though? How are purifiers doing this patch? I think purifiers in general on this patch got a lot better as well. Purifier used to be kind of a bad class, in my opinion. It's like a nice beginner like pistol class, right? But other than that, always felt not that great to me personally. And I think it's better now than before. Both as a gunner as well as a caster. I mean like a rune caster. Really nice. And they even buffed like blast shield now, didn't they? Eight second recharge instead of eleven. That's I'm not sure about that buff, like that seems maybe too much. That seems kinda crazy, only 8 seconds. That's really insane. Yeah, for endgame he requires more caster based than pistol usually. <clears throat> or like has historically like like <clears throat> perform better as a caster class because well casters in general perform better than pistol builds in the endgame in Grand Dawn. And yeah, it was more often than not like a worse paladin or like a worse shoe breaker. Or even like a worse sorcerer. Oh, the item flash in the inventory, because they can. It's like a new feature of the patch, but you can actually also disable it, right? New item highlight, right? right? If you don't like this, you can disable it. I think it's probably good for like new players um, I think it's a bit too much um, if you're like a veteran of the game you probably just want to disable it anyway because it might be too annoying in the long run at least but if you're like new to the game I think it's a really nice feature like you know finding the items that you just like picked up in like this rather big inventory can be quite a struggle sometimes I mean, like, big compared to other RPGs at least. The monster inventory is rather large. Yeah. Only 15,000 life at 72, yeah. I know, right? Really squishy. Very, really, very really fucking squishy. Definitely squishy. Only 500 armor with locker set.
at the aim and symbols below the mob bar new or did I just forget about them? Um uh, they shouldn't be new from 1.2.1. It might be from like 1.2 or something like that. Okay, they've been around for a while now. That's for sure. Oh, you haven't even played 1.2? Oh, shit. Sure. Wait, are you still playing the season? If you're playing Room at all? Still playing like season 5 on 1.9.1198. Just waiting for season 6. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Soon. Soon, guys. Very soon. Okay. Um. By the way, if you wanna play test season 6. We don't have a playtest ready in the next couple of days, probably. Um, and I would advise everybody who does want to playtest to playtest it in 1.2.1 as well. Because that's going to be like the patch in which we're going to run this season. Ah, your PBN, the other ones. Makes sense, makes sense. You don't have to play this. Don't feel obliged to do that. Just wait for the full release. Hello, hello, hello. Season 6 looming over us. <laughs> nice season 6. You have there, Max. Welcome. Move along. What's with I? Good. You're what am I? You've proved that's good work. There have been is that the warden's defeat is a so you not be. You like the new PvE League? I mean, Season 6 is not gonna like release tomorrow. So. I still have like some more time for. Ah! 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 I have some more time for. Uh, PvE. Unless you wanna play test. Then it's gonna be like. Soon. Hold it. Not tomorrow on Sunday instead. Why is Act 1 always the richest in any RPG? Is it in PoE? I feel like in PoE Act. One is not the richest one, actually. Let's say maybe like two, three, or four are. I don't know which one, actually. But it would not say Act 1. You thought Ellie might take the spot for you in between pure leagues, but you just think Rondon is more fun. I mean, if like a PoE league sucks at some point, you can just like play some Ellie or like some Rondon instead as well. <laughs> or maybe even Diablo 4, right? Who knows? Two more years in the oven. Maybe, maybe. I feel like two years ago it needed like two more years, but now it like needs another two years. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the crafting is pretty cool, like, some optimization is pretty cool, the skill trees are pretty cool and so on, right? But there's so much jank still. Apparently, I didn't play, like, the last one or two weeks, right? But... <laughs> Apparently, they had to, like, hotfix a bow, because, like, using that bow... But, like, using a skill as a falconer while you had that bow equipped just instantly killed you. Like, how is that even a thing? <laughs> like, imagine playing hard you equip the bow, you use a skill and you just die. <laughs> like, what? Good, you're back. GM Chaos, appreciate the support. Welcome back. 36 months, that's like literally three entire years. Holy moly, man. Thank you so much for the continued support. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> All the other access helped. Yeah, the thing is like, apparently the bow like worked fine and then they did a patch and then somehow that patch broke the bow and then they had to pot fix it again. It's kind of interesting. I don't even know what it's like... ...possible. On like a... <laughs> like, what kind of spaghetti code is that? Like, I don't even get it. How's it even possible? But yeah, Ellie, Ellie, I feel like has tons of spaghetti. Unfortunately. Like Unity and the code of the game itself. Sometimes do feel quite janky. Like the ideas are great, like the game design is pretty good. Maybe like the dungeon layout design is not that good, but like... Is Ellie Italian? Nah, it's actually... They're from like Midwest, I think. Somewhere around... I don't know, Kona country. Quinn would just code it? Yeah, true. Quinn would just code it. He would just code it, bro. Not to uncheck a character box classic. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it can happen, you know, like... Oops. Who knows? Even D4 dungeons are better, like, unironically so, yeah. I mean, the, the mechanic itself, the press D mechanic to like switch, I don't know, like time zones and so on, like that's kind of fine, like that's totally fine, it's a cool mechanic in a way. Uh, totally fuck, the layout is so bad. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Like running through flipping like Diablo 2 like Maggot Slayer is more fun, I don't know. It is, it is. Running through a dungeon is the thing that should feel good, right? If that doesn't feel good, then why have a dungeon? You could just have like a... A campaign map instead, or like an echo, I don't know. And it's like they made all dungeons feel like lab, except instead of actual interesting like traps and different kinds of traps and like different things you can do here and there, right? Like silver keys, blah blah. blah. You have nothing and then blockers. <laughs> like how? How could it be that uninspiring and still have like such a complete garbage layout? Like compare like dungeons to lab, right? 
PvE. Or even like like just dungeons in Grim Dawn as well. Which have like chest events and mini bosses and so on. It's like I don't even know man. Shit, the sky hurts. Mock up, mock up, mock up. And also the gunners hurt. Stand on seal. Stand on the seal. Also, uh, destroy the forges, right? Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, that's like one thing, right? You have like some designer somewhere making the map. No, wait, for, first of all, you have to have like some people like making a concept of a dungeon, thinking this is a good concept. Then you have the map creator making that co concept reality, thinking it's a good concept. And then after that, you have like quality control, like running through the dungeon themselves and thinking that's a good idea. Like how, how did all of them like think it's a good idea, right? <laughs> Just baffles me. Possible, dude. Oh, now this guy can like wield. Look at this money bag, Martin with fire shoulders. This is new. This guy. I mean, it doesn't sound like something crazy, but it's actually like crazy compared to what this game had before. When it comes to Chrono Mice. Finally, Chrono bosses and heroes. Drop MIs like they should. Let's go. Entire team is rats in the maze. Yeah, maybe. They do like the feeling of being a rat in the maze. Quality control is community testing. They say it's bad and the devs say then too bad. <laughs> okay, cool. But like you can still salvage it, right? You can just like simply remove the blockers or like reduce the amount or for example, in Temporal Sanctum, have it so that you can never have a blocker in the same spot in both timelines, for example. You can still salvage them. No way, it's actual Grim Dawn. Holy fuck. Imagine playing the game, right? Crazy. Welcome in Buhar. Uh, fuck, we're at the Atom Land. I don't think Ellie has like a guy in a suit like saying yes this is the money maker in the end and for Ellie. For Diablo 4 that's true, but like Ellie, I don't think that person even like I mean either he doesn't even exist or he doesn't like even look at the content. Either or. And maybe in Diablo 4 they also don't look at the content, I don't know. Yo Birdanska, I don't know. <laughs> it's a trapper. It's a trapper. Face tank trap. Tank trapper. I think it's still hilarious when like people say, "Oh my god, the game is like a Twitch reflex game now, right?" Because of like Sunder and Evade existing. Meanwhile, I like 
face tank, crown lay on a flippin' locker set purifier. Mm, totally a re like, reflex game, right? Do I do Torchlight 2 battle reviews? I've barely played the game. I played like Torchlight for one, two days, something like that. I have no idea about Torchlight. Warlock leveling 1 after this. After this character next is gonna be a Warlock. Like, probably, actually. No joke, no cup. Torchlight 2 is an excellent game. I don't doubt that, but... It didn't really, like, click for me all too much. And I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's nice, it's cool. I, I liked some, like, concepts. I also liked how, like, when you logged out, it put you back into exactly the same spot. So you can't, like, cheese the game, right? You, you like, if you die into a boss, you just die into a boss. You can't port out, you can't log out. Why do I have 15k HP on level 77? I don't know, it's just going down. They've reduced HP on this patch, by the way. So last patch I would have even more. But I mean, it's also local set, right? Like, local set is... All about using HP as a defensive layer instead of like armor, for example, right? You sacrifice armor for HP, but Locker Set's kinda. Like, Locker Set has more HP than the average endgame set, even. Yo, Mukombo, welcome, welcome. Would it Twitch Prime go? Is it gone? Okay, not stuck with Prime anymore? There should, there should be a Prime option still somewhere. Maybe like it's more hidden now than before. Good, you're back. There it is. Thanks for Prime. Hi, Lee. Welcome back, welcome back. I appreciate the support. Welcome back to the Bloomers. Holy, like, so many items do you like. Please fix your game, crate. I don't need, uh... The problem with, like, items as well is that... Monster of Frequence, in a way, have made, like, Implicit so fucking useless and bad in this game, right? Like, if the base white Implicit in this game would be, like, more interesting. And it would maybe, like, even be worth to, like, look at all those items. But as it is, they're just, like, all, like, instant sell. Like, they could as well just be Iron Boots. At least most of them. There's, like, a few slots, like, boots, maybe, or, like, pants and so on. That could be useful, but otherwise... They're, yeah, like... I, I'm considering it, yeah. I am actually considering it. Because whole oh, And you can just filter that out, I guess. But... There's also faction gear. Which is also they are. I <laughs> say so you reduce by 15% but in reality you like reduce by 80%. Yeah. I say like fifth 15, right? And I mean 50. How to get Kerplunk at the Grim Dawn? With less items, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it would also get people like Zizarin maybe even into Grim Dawn. Right? Like, the one thing he hated about Grim Dawn a lot is like, like just presents items in your face permanently all the time. Too many items all around. Can't wait to essence roll on faction gear again. 
Wait, what if I told you there's gonna be a slight change to essences? Can you guess what it is? Can you guess the change, the upcoming change? Changes of essences are deleted. <laughs> That's not quite as drastic now. Ah, yes, at once. Of <laughs> you look forward to testing it tomorrow. Yeah. Definitely tomorrow. <clears throat> now I assume it's maybe gonna be ready by Sunday slash early next week to test. Well, you worked here. We have to hit them hard. But we're dead now that. Depending on like how much I can also like skip streaming <laughs> to work more on or, like implementing more of the like final pieces that we need for the first playtest at least. Come friend, right to business. Kasparov, yeah, he's uh, he's totally a genius. He's not like an idiot, right? Totally a genius. Okay, but nobody has like a like an idea what might happen to essences. Monka. Keep your weapon. Reduce drop chance. Well, there's gonna be a reduced drop chance for essence containers and there's gonna be no more crafting essence containers anymore. Not getting any free ideas from us. <laughs> Essence potatoes and uh, essence containers. Transformed all trash item drops into essences for insane crafting league. That sounds like a like a gauntlet idea for the league. Any plans to have vitality builds in season six? Um, there's gonna be a unique vitality shield at the very least. Maybe more. Okay. 
like a legendary vitality shield that I can like drop from some of the ghost ambushes. Which might or might not be good for Dark One. Maybe. We'll see. You need an Excel spreadsheet to min max the corpse layout, but. Oh, it even matters like. Oh, it matters like in which way you put the corpses in the ground. Like, it doesn't matter like which ones you put, but also like the. Oh my god, it's. But also the. Um, like the positioning of the corpses to each other and so on. Okay, spots give different bonus modifiers. I didn't even see that last time I was there. Holy shit, please. Ah, it's interesting for spreadsheet gamers for sure, yeah. But you need green shield for Sigil? Maybe. Maybe not. Your Dutch boy, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Hello, hello. Decrim do much more than Diablo 4. I mean, I hope so. Have you played the new PTR for Diablo 4 though? What do you think about the season 4? I'm telling you, the shield is gonna have Citra stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it would have something that makes you still use it over the green sigil shield or maybe it has something that makes you want to use it instead of sigil completely who knows who knows right the nose knows you also like spreadsheets on EVE Online? Okay, I mean, it makes sense that you like it then. To be fair, I liked like spreadsheets or like layout theory crafting in games like like in city builder games or in something like Factorio for example. I like it in those kind of games, but in RPGs, I don't know. No cheers? Thank you so much for the 100 cheers, Ditch Boy. I appreciate the support. Number one cheer of this month. Volson. Shit builder. I mean, yeah, I know you don't like city builder games, but I know I, I kind of like them. I do like them. Wilson had city building. I mean, no, it's not city building. Wilson had like a browser game. Come on, that was like the Stemme browser game, right? I don't know, something like that. It's like upgrade your your city now. Click this to do it. It's like literally like a mobile slash browser game. 
Like, I would not call that, like, any kind of, like, actual city building, dude. Would I play Cotton Course 2? Uh, definitely, yeah. I would play it. To be honest, it, it was, like, a way to... Like, it was a system to, like, customize your endgame a bit more. Like, I don't think, like, this wholesome, like, city building was all that complete garbage, but... The fact they called it like an end game system, right? They said they're gonna have like, well, the the rift style end game, right? And then they said like they're gonna have like two or three other like end game systems, and their end game systems were the city builder, which wasn't even a city builder. It was just like a browser game, right? It was just like you open up like a like a UI window, and then you like you click buttons to like influence like it's maybe like a bit more like an atlas tree in a way i guess but like atlas tree from like wish and like way worse right clash of clans atlas tree i don't know yeah. something like that but they like said it's gonna be an end game mode like what how is that an end game mode that was like the biggest scam ever dude Yeah, I mean, I think what they tried is like, it's not that bad, but the way they, they advertised it was... Um, yeah. You thought it's basically like maps or like another rift style system or like dungeons or something like that. And then it's like a UI window. It looks like a browser game. Uh, I don't know. Didn't quite hit the spot. I would like a game to have we're getting the best out of D2, Titan Quest, Grim Dawn, and the Nazi Pok. Yeah. What is the best out of each of those games for you personally? Like, what's the best out of Nazi Pok? What's the best out of Grim Dawn? What's the best out of Diablo 2? What's the best out of Titan Quest? <clears throat> Because to me, personally, like, Grim Dawn, for example, is better than Titan Quest in almost every single way. Almost. The PoE mapping system in Grim Dawn. The, the mapping system in PoE has like multiple layers though, like which which part exactly of the mapping system are we talking about? Because if you're like talking about entering a portal to then like run a map to defeat bosses at the end, like that part alone is like Shadow Realm, right? It's like the same thing. But of course maps is a bit more than just that. So... Okay, which part of the maps are we talking about here? Casual 8,000 damage, okay. Superior of the Abomination. Okay. Yeah, I mean, a multiplayer to be like stable, it would need like actual servers and so on. The Grimdown doesn't really have that. I mean, it has like locally hosted servers when you like open up a like locally hosted game, you know. The old school RPG feeding. Yeah, I never had that. I never played Diablo 2. And then I only played RTS as a kid. I, the, the first RPG I played was Diablo 3, and then I played Grim Dawn. So I don't have that feeling, so I can't really feel what you're feeling, I guess. A little hard for me to understand it. You like the modifiable well, nature of maps and all the random league mechanics that show up to keep I them fresh. Be I, haven't been in I, came upon the I mean, you could like technically add all of that to, to SR as well. But it's also like a question, do you want 
every single mob and maps or like SR to drop loot for you or do you want all the loot at the end? That's I think like a very big like <clears throat> game design decision that has to be done if you implement any kind of system like that. Do you want the loot at the end or do you want the loot from every single mob? And there's pros and cons to both, right? There's like the immediate like... I don't know... Uh, feeling of, oh my god, I'm getting loot, right? The second it drops. And... On the other hand, there's like the... The breaking of the gameplay flow. Or like the having to backtrack to like pick up the actual loot. Especially when they're like playing dot builds, right? It's like especially annoying on dot builds. That doesn't concern you at all? Okay, so then you don't care about gameplay anyway. Because I think that's like... For an endgame system, I think that's like the most... Important thing to decide on when it comes to gameplay feel. Like you want to pick up loot in the map or after the map. Because one breaks your flow like crazy in my opinion and feels... In my opinion, rather bad. On the other hand, you do have that like immediate like feeling of oh my god, I'm getting this item drop here, right? For giga long-term engagement in RPGs, there's nothing comes close to people's mapping system. For me, modifiable, escalating, but controllable content with huge amounts of tile sets and other randomization. Okay, so. Modifiable, like player agency, right? That's what you want. Grim Dawn Shadow Realm doesn't have any player agency at all, right? It only has which shard you want to enter, and then it like throws mutators at you, and you can't control them, the game controls them for you, and then you only have two decisions. Do you want to run those for this mutator, or do you want to reroll, right? It's like you don't. It's as if, like, in PoE, you would like put into your mapping device unidentified maps and they only get identified once you are in the map, right? And then you decide, okay, do I want to abandon the map, but it gets consumed and it's gone? Or do I want to, like, reroll the map? Or, like, do I want to actually, like, run the map? Right? But you can't control the map before you actually like, put it in the device. That's, like, how SR is like, basically. Escalating. I mean, SR is escalating, you could say, right? Like, the difficulty is getting harder and harder and harder until, like, basically infinity. Um, so SR is escalating. Huge amount of tile sets. SR... I think has enough tile sets, maybe not, compared to PoE. I don't know, how many like tile sets, or like, how many like unique maps do you have like in PoE kind of? I mean, I know like they're like being random, like semi-randomly being like meshed together as well, the sets, right? Grim Dawn does, doesn't have that at all. It's like engine limitation, right? You can't have like randomized maps in Grim Dawn at all. It just doesn't exist. You have to make like every single map by hand. You can't like recombinate like tile sets automatically. That doesn't work. Consumable style of the maps also adds to the stakes. So it's as if like you get a waystone at the end of an SR. And you can't craft them because you don't have like the blueprint for it, right? Like in PoE, like map blueprints don't exist. Right? You can't really like craft maps. And you can like buy some maps from like the vendor, right? But that's also like limited, I think. Like a limited amount. I need XP pot, right? And then, like, the different mechanics... I mean, that can totally, totally be a thing in Grimdorm. You can, like, totally, like, put in, like, different script entities into, like, maps and... ...have also, like, different script entities, like, spawn, depending on, like, what kind of waystone you would put inside. Like, say, for example... Like, that can be totally done. Like, say, for example, there are, like, blueprints that you can find at some point somewhere, right? And that, like, gives you basically... Or, like, you find essences, right? That you can put on a waystone, that's the... Uh, 
and those essences like modify the waystones to then spawn different mobs in the SR. Or even maybe in like a dom like you can do the same with like a key maybe for like boundless key, right? So you kinda like corrupt the map in a way, right? Uh, or like some essences you can use multiple times. Other essences you can only like use once, so um, some are like Alex, I guess, or like Chaos or whatever, and others are more like uh, like you buy the map, right? Like that can totally be done. It's a ton of work to set it up, but it can be done. Like the like engine supports that. Yo, Gatling Pin, welcome, welcome. And then you have like different events, maybe like, I don't know, like additional ambush events, or you have like additional like room events, maybe you have like additional like Aether Crystal events, so you have additional like, I don't know. Like other events, spawning other events on top of other events, I don't fucking know. Or like you hunt down monsters that like drop only legendary helmets, maybe. So like if you're looking for like a legendary helmet, if you modify your map to include that mechanic then you have a higher chance to like get some helmets maybe right for example can kind of be like uh echo rewards in s in ellie i guess in a way we we have pretty much what i've just told you right like all of these things aren't ideas i just had right now necessarily um may maybe some of the like comparisons to poe that i just drew uh i just drew right now but the same thing just like with a slightly different wording is stuff that you have already discussed in the season team um that are not gonna be coming for season six but probably for like a season seven or eight maybe we, we kind of want to also like hold on a little bit to stuff like that um, until we know what ascendancy mode actually will entail like the new difficulty in uh, Grim Dawn, right? With the Pigs of Hustacon expansion because at ascendancy mode Xantai still haven't, hasn't spoiled like that much but um, I mean, at least like once we get like our hands on like the playtest thing I, I will know even if I'm like, not allowed to like talk about it like publicly but I will know and then I can, like, make design decisions in the league, depending on that, I guess. But Ascendancy mode, you know, could entail adding mechanics like that. Maybe not only to SR or, like, to dungeons, but maybe, like, to the entire world, right? Like, maybe the entire campaign is gonna be, like, a QE map, basically. And... Imagine like bounties, right? Or like bounties that actually like add or remove like actual like league mechanics basically. Could be cool, right? Maybe. Uh, so like depending on like what ascendancy mode is gonna be exactly, because that could be actually something that ascendancy mode could become, right? And if it is something like that, then but I don't know if we really have to like do what I just said anymore, or if like ascendancy mode itself is already gonna be like enough. Um or we could just like build on top of that maybe on top. But yeah, we'll see. Confirmed non-features. Yeah, we have we have features that we are cooking that are not gonna be features for season six. What do you think about leveling Vitality Conjurer? I mean, it's a bit slower than like Ritualist or... Yeah, it's mostly slower than Ritualist, but otherwise I think it's pretty... Pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, honestly, like Lightning is... Like, just Primus Strike is probably like faster early on. Because <clears throat> Vitality Conjurer like starts off a little slow and... Like, it's more like slow and steady early on. Um, and you can do fox leveling too, which is great AoE, but a bit like Monka against bosses maybe. 
You can do like Fever the Rage, Box Leveling. That's, that's okay. Yeah, I feel like bounties, or like a bounty-like system, that instead of like, hey, go here, kill this one totally uninteresting elite mob, like them spawning like actual like mechanics, and you can only spawn those mechanics if you like do some actual investment as well, right? So you have like some, you know, um, how do you say that? Like balance, like risk, risk reward kind of balance, right? as you have with maps and TV as well. Um, could be m way more interesting. Which classes do you think can make the best cold castlers? Mm. Druid? Warlock? Spellbreaker? Templar actually as well for him. Maybe something like I mean oh yeah, infiltrator, like if you wanna play like rune casters, or like Quister is a good cold caster class if you wanna play like runes. You can do like infiltrator for that, for example. Or I guess like unironically also Paladin. Eh. Or Mage Hunter. Maybe not Paladin, I don't know. Come see what's left of my wares. But I think the obvious one is like Druid, Spellbreaker, Infiltrator, Warlock, like those four. And then also Templar probably as well. But if you put Templar in there, you can also put Sorcerer in there, honestly. Like, Sorcerer is also not too bad for cold damage. Yeah, like Demolitionist, Arcanist can also work. And then you could even, like, think about, like, like Cold Runes, Purifier, maybe even. That could also work. But yeah, like, the easiest to build Cold Casters are Trozen Sky Shard. Arcanos, and then you play a secondary, which is usually Nightblade or Shaman or Cultus, but most of the time probably actually Shaman. Yeah. So, like, the most straightforward one is probably Druid. So Arcanos, Shaman. No procedural generations, a tough one though. I, I don't know, I don't think it's like necessary at all, personally. Like I don't get the appeal that much to be honest. Apart from like getting lost all the time. I don't see the benefit. Also, I mean small variations, you can do that with like blockers, right? As much as I like hate like hating on blockers and lassie pop, because like they just block everything. If you do like smart map design, we have like two or three paths, and you only like block one or two of them. You can have some like variation, right? Like Grim Dawn does that a lot in, in dungeons, for example. Right? Like Grim Dawn dungeons have that kind of variation to them. And on the other hand, that's also like all you can do in this engine. Right? Like that's all the variation you can do. That's like the best you can get from this from this engine. Like, I think as long as we, as long as you get, like, all the other things that I said are possible as well, right? That, and then, like, for, you know, pathing variety, some smart, like, map design together with blockers. To, like, at least give you, like, a feeling of not every single time, like, running the same thing. Um, I think this should be good enough. I mean, getting to the level of PoE is gonna be hard, of course, because, like... PoE has A, like 5 billion people working on the game, and B, they have like their own engine, they can like do whatever they want in their engine, and so on and so on. 
So you're gonna like never gonna get exactly the same PoE feeling when it comes to customizability. But you can you can definitely like do a bit more in Grindon than currently exists. I don't know like how much other people like care about the randomized layouts that much. I mean, I know there are people that care a lot about it, like you for example as well, and I know you're not like alone. There are there's certainly like more than one guy out there caring about that. I think the more casual you are, the less important it becomes. The more tryhard you are. Or like the more no life thing you are a game, the more it matters. Like for example, as a more casual PvE player, I would actually like the game, at least in a campaign, to not have like randomized layouts and just have fixed layouts. But that's also like me not wanting to invest all the time to like learn all the possible layouts, combinations and so on, and feeling kinda like annoyed every single time that I go back to the game, I'm like, ah oh, shit. Is it like this? No, it's like that now. Like, okay, not, not like that like last time, so it's different again. Like, holy shit, where'd I go? Right? So, yeah. Um, I think the, the randomizer goes, like, both ways. It's like, it's good for no lifers, and it's actually not that great for, like, people that don't play a game that much. And I would say the average Grundon... I mean, there are people that have like played this game for like ten thousands of hours as well. But compared to PUE, people that play Grim Dawn play Grim Dawn because it's not a job, right? They they also high, highly value Grim Dawn because it allows you to play the game and have fun without needing like pipe in spreadsheets as well, right? So you have to be careful that you don't turn the game into PUE and then you end up like having actually less people playing than before, you know? You don't have to know that I also play a PvE campaign. I mean, you wanna still, like, not waste time, right? I don't know. Yo, Panzer, welcome, welcome. Let's get the brain, how you doing? Hello, hello. Grim Dawn's left for its world. Yeah, for sure. And I think a world becomes like more memorable by a larger audience when you have fixed layouts. Which, well, for endgame mapping system, I guess wouldn't matter that much. But there it's just the engine ultimately being limited and you can't do like randomization that well. So. Just gotta like work with what you have. At that point. Knowing layouts is a speedrun racer thing. I guess you're not wrong. So how good As somebody who always likes to know where he's going also in real life and usually has like a very good um, orientation in real life as well, I really hate it when I don't know where I'm going. So this might be like a, like a me issue as well. Because I, I can never be like anywhere in the world and like not knowing where I'm going. Like if I can't know where I'm going, then like trying to find out where I'm going like as soon as possible, otherwise I like freak out basically. Keep 
an eye on you. You like how Grimdawn changes the blocked paths, but not that because it's AIDS. Wait, so you like it or you think it's AIDS? <laughs> I mean, we can all agree that it's like AIDS and Lassipok because they totally overdo it with blockers. In dungeons at least. Outside of dungeons they don't even try, but... Uh, I think Grimdawn is like a decent middle ground when it comes to blockers, like... It does give you like some map variety, but it doesn't feel like two AIDS. Uh, season 6 is happening before Pranks of Asticon or after? Before. Season 6 is gonna happen before Pranks of Asticon and Season 7 is gonna happen after Pranks of Asticon. Oh, I'm betting bit of ground similar to how Grimdawn does it, but the way Grimdawn does it at the moment is kinda garbage. Okay. I mean, it's fair. How do you imagine a middle ground to feel less garbage but still be similar to Grimdawn? Yeah, but I have my window like up all like open all day. I know there's a flipping bug. Give me one sec. Like flying around the lamp all the time, annoying as hell. No, I didn't kill it. I just like threw it out of the window. It's like one of those like stinky bugs, but I think it didn't spray me before flying away. Luckily. Wrecked by bugs. Yeah.
another victim of the unhinged, absolutely insane wildlife of Germany. <laughs> yeah. Wildlife in Germany? Mod check? Does it even exist? I guess there's like one wolf or something like that. And there's actually like more than one wolf now. But... We don't know how Australians are even alive. <laughs> I mean, just shake your shoes every time, right? Like, tap your shoes every single time. Holy shit. There is a problem bear again. Oh no, they're gonna... Ooh, ooh, they're gonna shoot another bear. Ooh. Oh no. They are fleeing it on every single window. In Germany? What? Where do you live? Like... In like... The Black Forest or something? Dude, there's not even like any mosquitoes in Germany. Like, they just don't exist. Like, whenever I'm in Sweden... There's like 5 billion mosquitoes compared to Germany because they actually like have some like swampy areas though. Sweden used to be like after the Ice Age like super swamp basically. You know? Or at least like many regions of the country used to be like very very swampy. Or like in Finland, yeah, whole uh, it's even worse there. Like Germany has like compared to those countries like literally not a single bug, like not a single mosquito. Like, they don't exist. Looking at the sea. I mean... That's like one compared to Sweden, still nothing. <laughs> like compared to like Scandinavia, it's still like nothing. And yeah, I've, I've been to like northern Germany like in the summer at the sea as well, but... It's like not comparable to Scandinavia, in my opinion. Like Scandinavia is way worse when it comes to that. Autobahn ruined the diversity of bugs. I mean, ironically, it did. It's one of the... It's not like only Autobahn, but... It's one of the many cases, like one of the many reasons, rather. We've killed all the bugs. That's like population density. Basically removing all, like setting, like putting dry all swamps in the entire country more or less. I don't know if there's even like a single swamp left, no, no idea. And uh, yeah. Any remaining bugs just could get killed by like cars, right? Because they fly against the car windshield and... Honestly nowadays when you like drive on the autobahn on a car you don't even like get any bugs on your window anymore. Like you used, you used to get like way more. Nowadays, it's not like there's zero bugs on your windshield. Like, literally zero. You can drive for like five hours and you will have like maybe one or maybe zero still, actually. Oh, you're. Okay, you're actually like living next to a swamp, I guess. So. You have like the, the last swamp in Germany next to you. Makes sense. Shit. 
Yeah, if bugs are gone, like who the fuck is gonna suck off us, uh, suck us, suck us off anymore? Like, right? Like, what? If not the mosquitoes. I think the issue with the autobahn and bugs is not the cars killing the bugs, it's more the fact that they paved over most of the marshlands in order to build the autobahn in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. We destroyed the bugs' Lebensraum, right? <coughs> You live by a swamp as well, hold a ship. Hold a ship indeed, yeah. So you need a ship to go to like work. What the fuck? What a shit. What a shit. To all the goons. It's ultimate difficult in Grimdon too easy, guys. I mean, it is right, that's why we're getting Ascended mode. Like, I can literally, like, look at, like, chat non-stop. Like, maybe, like, glance in the top right of my screen here. Look at the map, and otherwise, like, look at chat, which is, like, right of my monitor, right? Of the right side of my monitor. I have my cam flipped on the screen, so... This is right for me. Um, and I wouldn't die in a fucking poker segment. I guess just... I don't Meanwhile, you still die on every character during season and ultimate. But <laughs> I mean, I feel like I also die a lot in my league start characters. I don't know why. For some reason, like season, I'm always like more hyped, more nervous, and then I just die. I mean, to be fair, also like last. I mean, yeah, I'm playing like scuffed streamer stuff, right? Then I have to like play Duenas' Defider or something like that, and then I die because of I'm playing like Duenas' Defider, I guess. Makes sense. It piques your curiosity how they're gonna balance the rewards for Senate mode though. There was mud. I see my scouts have Yeah, because like ultimate already really, like showers you on a gear, I think. You have done well. You already get so much gear Just already. The yeah. There are two other Like there's no gear left to get at some point, right? I have come to But it has to be more, otherwise it's not worth it. Usually just that guide to the ghost ambushes though. I mean yeah, okay, fair enough. just in the challenge. That's not quite how ARPGs work though, right? You always have to have like some kind of like loot reward as well. Otherwise it's just... Yeah, I mean they can like nerf overall drop chance by like 50%. Like everything by 50%. Literally everything by 50%. 
and then um, give ascendant ascendant mode like current ultimate drops. But we all know that's not gonna happen, right? Because it's gonna be like people that are mad about it writing from Facebook how they hate how the game is like too hard now and how they can't dodge uh, I don't know Ronde Sunder who doesn't even have a Sunder but they still get hit by the Sunder somehow New materials awaken epics, yeah I mean yeah, they, they should and will lock certain like items that you need to upgrade your gear behind a standard mode problem. It's gonna be like one way how they will make the mode relevant. I mean, they are like monster frequency, right? The problem with like monster and frequency being not like infrequent. Is also you just reset the session over and over until you get it right. So you kind of just get it anyway. At least for like main campaign, right? At least you don't have your screen full of shit all the time. Do you have your screen full of shit all the time when you, like, hide green items now? Like, I have, like, green items available right now, like, I should, like, hide them and, like, only look at them eyes. Forbidden Vault. Yeah. It's true. Forbidden Vault has many MIs. <laughs> it sure does. Arguably too many. That, that's fair, that's fair. Hoping for another vendor that sells blueprints. Still looking for mechanical investments of severe faith for your pirate dark place, even though you've got nerfed. You've been farming for three years now. Hmm. Those this. Uh, you, should, you should be able to find it in the description of the stream right now even. If you open the video description at the bottom right, you can see some print tools links down there. Yeah, just uh, farm Alchemos rings and then like lose Alchemos rings like twice in a row like the manual, right? Dude, back then, like, Alchemist rings were such a grind to farm as well, they're easier to get now. Playing GD, not LE. Ree! No Big Mac. Rotating camera, what is this, 2027? I know, right? Like, crazy tech, right? Imagine a game where you can rotate your camera. Insane, dude. Insane. I was just kidding, ultimate is hard enough. 
Holy shit, dude, I'm stuck. Dude, fucking oppressors. Monka Giga. Yeah, and PoE, for example, or like an Ellie, I sometimes can't tell, like, what I'm in. Actually, nah, in Ellie, like, some mobs also, like, feel different. But, like, in PoE, I feel like everything is just... ...one-shotting you and you one-shot it. Actually, it's not true. Like, for example, Abyss mobs feel different. Well, what pisses me off in PoE sometimes is, like, this, like, blue glow, yellow glow, everything is just, like, blue and yellow, like, all rares look the same. Like so many like glows on top of each other, like you can't even see the model be below anymore. I mean, you could argue maybe the same for Grundon as well, but I think it's actually diff I don't know like why. Like like Grundon looks fine to me. Maybe it doesn't to me, but Grundon has the problem of like overlapping like skill effects. Right, like this can become like super bright, very like this is just white now, right? Like. <laughs> If you have like an enemy inside here, you can't see shit. But if you see an enemy here, it's like totally fine, right? Going on a slower a bit as well, and that helps, you know, like ident identifying like items, I mean, monsters rather and their abilities and their animations. Yeah, that, that does help, yeah, for sure. In PoE, um, like in Grand Dawn, you like have like the icons as well, right? Above enemies. In PoE, you only see it like when you hover over the enemy right and like you read the affix but what if you can't read the affix because if you hover over the enemy then you're not like it's like not dodging their abilities and if you're not dodging their abilities you just die or you're not reading them because you just one shot the enemy anyway uh, so yeah i think like the clarity is questionable and you can't pause the game either to like look at it hey, way more mods in general yeah and you you don't you don't know right like and they just like glow yellow or they glow blue and then you know okay it's a rare mob this is a magic mob or whatever right but unless you read the modifier there's like no way to tell but like reading the modifier is like kind of hard i think and then you have somebody like art play pv and he just doesn't look at the screen and look, look uh, looks at chat like i'm playing grand dawn basically when I'm playing PoE, I can't like read chat for like two hours. I have to like, I can only like read chat and flip and like, in towns basically. You do it, but you really shouldn't. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, much of it is just experience. For sure, for sure. I mean, I have like, what, 200 hours, 180 hours in PoE, something like that. It's like baby numbers, right? Like, not even rookie numbers, it's like literally baby numbers. So. Yeah, just Beetlejuice art. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh no, it's Zarya, right? I mean, Zarya is like something that people die to, right? And if you don't know, you, you die. If you know, you don't. Imagine dying to Zarya, right? Who would die to Zarya? Couldn't happen to you, I know, right? <laughs> You have to assert dominance, you have to always kill her, even in base game. When I discovered the only way to trade in PoE was to sit there manually in a third person website and wait, you could immediately. Yeah, I also think that's like really unattractive. Which is why I would never play PoE trade, I would only play SSL. And I mean, that's what I've been doing, right? Like, I have zero, zero seconds in PoE trade and all of my playtime is in 
SSF, and that's fine. I, I can enjoy the game there. I don't, I don't get like the economy. It doesn't like. I don't know, intrigue me at all in any way or form. And also, no auction house, like no centralized like thing where you can just like trade with people via like a UI windows. I mean, on one hand, there are benefits of like having trade set up as it is right now, but it also is just like a waste of time. So yeah. you can usually decide for what's going on even during Giga Juice content because you know what you look out for. Yeah, I mean that that is like the experience that you're like talking about. Right? Like if you know what to look out for, you know. But or like then you have like an easier time spotting it. If you don't know what to look out for, then it's way harder for sure. Like for example, I mean the way I died, right, like this PUE League, right? I died flipping like chaos crystals that like spawn when you hit the enemy. I didn't even know that's a thing, because I never saw the mod ever before, or like, maybe I did see it before, but I never like realized that's an actual thing. And it was like, oh, look at this pretty flowers on the ground, and it's like, oh shit, boom, I'm dead. <laughs> like, I didn't recognize it, it as uh, being potentially dangerous, so I just ignored it. Died to PUE version of Zarya, I guess, yeah, you could say that. And to be honest, like, Zarya's red crystals are, like, twice as big as her herself, so... And they suddenly, like, pop up because they are being spawned by her. The, the purple crystals were, like, tiny compared to the action mob that had the modded by her. But yeah, ultimately I should have seen it as well. And I mean, honestly, I was also, like, giga tired, so... That certainly didn't help my reactions either. I mean, dying to like purple chaos crystals is uh, something that you probably wouldn't even have on the radar of like things that a new player can die to right now. You would like probably like, think of like 50 other ways a new player could rather die. Um, but yeah, here I am, right? Like a new player dying to that thing, and you're like, oh shit, you can actually die to that? I forgot about that. Right? Here just doesn't fire a uh, hardcore friend to be honest. I mean, all things considered, definitely less than Grim Dawn, yeah. I mean, it's not impossible, obviously. People are doing it. But... But there are some things that can kill you if you like, don't pay attention. Okay, here's one thing, right? I actually played a second character this league as well in PUE. Like, along, like, off stream when I was, like, watching a Ground Zero streamer one day. And I also died on that character. And the reason why I died on that character is because... Not because I died to, like, any mechanic or, like, any actual, like, boss or something. I died because... I got, like, a flask upgrade, right? And I wanted to, like, craft off the convection or something like that on the suffix. Like, the anti-chill, anti-freeze, whatever it's called. And since I had like some beasts left over from last character, right? I should have to like use another pixel pot here, right? I am told that I can when the Legion was forced to abandon let's see. I've already The device chose You're here. Good. With a Even though I had like four level level beasts, it chose two level sixty-eight beasts when I was level level like forty. And then I noticed, I got like hit by one of them, I was like, holy shit, this like, thing is like half of my HP. Um, and I was like spamming portal scroll, but you can't portal there, right? <laughs> and I don't have a logout back row, so I was like, hmm. I was like, like fumbling, like trying to log out, but then I died like trying to log out. Oh my god, dude. 
Like, why can't you TP out of there, man? Right? Like, if I could TP out of there, I would have, like, actually survived. It's so fucking scuffed in so many levels, dude. Like, holy shit, dude. I was so mad. Like, A, why the fuck does the game, like, choose the highest level monsters you have instead of, like, choosing monsters that are your level, even if you have monsters your level? And then why the fuck can't you port out of there either? You can only log out and nothing else. Like, who the fuck made that, man? Why is it like this? Oh well, I was kind of mad. But eh. And I mean, yeah, I would have not died if I just read what beast it selects. But I also didn't expect the game to like troll me like that. Like, what the fuck, man? Oh well. Then again, it's PoE, right? If you don't read everything, I guess you're just dead. Probably I've already answered this a million times, but if you're going to choose a build for farming 66, what, 65 to 75? What would be like my top 3 to 4? Uh, 2 to 3. Uh, there's tons of builds you can do for that, honestly. Honestly, just play what you think is fun. I mean, or like, ch play what you think is fun, but like, you can choose out of the... I've made like, the are these top 20 softcore builds, viable and hardcore videos from it recently. You can either choose from those, or you can choose from like, any of my build highlight videos that I've updated for 1.2.0. You can choose any of the builds from either of the two, like, lists, basically. Play whatever you think is fun. And they're all good enough. We still don't have the official top 20 post. I mean, that's a medley. That's not my fault. I am not responsible for that. I don't know what the rating... I don't know what the rating are either. No clue. They're waiting for next year, maybe. Because I renamed them. I renamed them. I got Madly's builds nerfed, so he needs to. I mean, he could still like just release it for 1.2, then make a new one for 1.2.1. Like, I don't know. Do you need a lot of stash in PoE? Mm, not before you hit maps. I have still not bought a single stash trap in QE and I've made it to maps like several times. I mean, I have not like made it to like actual high tier maps ever, but you know, I think at that point you do need it. But until then, you don't need stash traps. Like, QE is uh, it's free to try and then it's like basically buy to play later on. Um, and basically the, the price of the game is the price of the stash tabs. That, that's kind of like what Fury is. Like the... the, the currency tabs, map tab, like that kind of stuff. And like one premium tab, whatever that's called. And that's kind of it. I mean, MTX is nice, but like not mandatory. The access only visuals after all. Yo, Yasha, welcome, welcome. Is Aether Race by Binder still good in 1.2? It's. I mean, it's playable. I wouldn't say it's like an S tier build, certainly not. But it's, it's okay. It is a viable option. I would not put it like into any like S tier right now, though. Definitely not. It's getting better in 1.2.1 though, it's getting above. But in 1.2... It's like... Decent. But not amazing. A 
Any inside info? About when? Season 6 when? Or Pranks of the Karn when? Come see what's left of my wares. And the expansion? Iron well spent. Mm, I don't have any, no. I know as much as you guys do, which is at the end of this year or at the start of next year. Maybe next year, yeah. If not this year, then maybe next year. Hard for me to believe I don't know more. I mean, all I can say is I don't even have access to the playtesting for Fangs of Us, Karin, because it doesn't even exist yet. You, there is not even any playtest for the game yet. Like, for the expansion yet. So, yeah. And also, Crate is basically generally doing releases as in... It's ready when it's ready, right? They don't like do dates until they are like very close to being ready anyway. Will I be able to play it on stream? The playtest for Fangs of Hastakarn? No, probably not. Um, there might be like one or two things that I am allowed to spoiler if I get Xanthai's blessing on that. I did talk to him about maybe like getting some exclusivity rights when it comes to spoilering some things. We'll see if he grants me those or not on certain things. We'll see. We will get new MTX and things of Astakarn. Well, you're gonna get new items in general, which you can then use at the Illusionist, so... Technically, yes. For like an additional spoiler pack on top. Mm, not for release, maybe at some point later. Grimdawn 2, then. Um, maybe next decade. Maybe next decade. I mean, they are working on the engine, but um, the engine... It's like a steam engine, you know? It's very slow. Slowly progressing. They should use Unity, yeah. Definitely. Sounds like an amazing idea. I mean, they've had their fair share of Unity development for the past frontier. And while I think the game itself is not all too bad, uh, the engine is... I don't know. I mean, it's like okay-ish. But, eh. Can't wait to play Grim 2 with your grandkids. Yep. Is there any consideration to add another new class other than Berserker from the DLC? As far as I know, there is not. At least not... Uh, like, Crate is not gonna add, add another one, no. Crim Dawn is basically Titan Quest, what is it, 2006? Yeah, it's basically the same game, right? Literally the same game, it's all the same. Diablo 4 is basically Diablo 2. It's also the same game, right? Same team, the same engine. I mean, it's like 
The Grimdot engine is like built on top of the Type Quest engine, that's true. It's technically not the same engine, but it's like a Titan Quest 2.0 engine, yeah. That's not good. The same team. I mean, it's not really true. There are some people from... Like the, the former lead designer of the old Titan Quest is the basically CEO of Crate. But otherwise, there aren't that many people from Titan Quest left in Grim Dawn. Like Xanta, for example, never worked in Titan Quest. And he's like the... Whatever it's called nowadays exactly what he is, like chief lead game designer for Crate or something like that. I forgot what it actually is. Some formality, some name, some title. Will Niger up this by one when he finally gets here? <laughs> Thanks for the that's fun's worth, appreciate the support. At level 94 we go naked. Package reveal at 91, uh, 94, right? <clears throat> Gear reveal. Your eyes also the same? Hmm, it's not tr the same actually. Because if it was the same. They could be... They would have like a loss of Proton if it was the same. So it's not actually the same. It is similar, but it's not actually the same. True friends will deep freeze themselves, yep. And then wake up as not sure. I mean, in many ways, of course, like, Rumdon is the spiritual successor of Titan Quest. I'm not denying that. But it did have, like, a little bit more effort put into it than just playing Titan Quest reskinned. Like, a lot more. I'm not sure if like local leveling is easier or harder than before. I feel like it might be actually even easier than before. With the armor and physics change. Not exactly sure though. What do you think guys? Do you think leveling is easier on 1.2.1 or harder? It's easier for classes that get armor. Like Inquisitor now as well. Or Nightblade. Yeah, probably.
They removed low current 1.2. It's not that hard, come on. Why did I not get the quest here? What? Whoops. What am I doing? Wait, I thought Lockhart like a piece of cake for a Force Wave character. What do you mean Force Wave is not able to do Lokar? What do you mean? Put it to good use. <laughs> but Force Wave. Force Wave is getting a clarity buff in the season. Right, Force Wave is gonna specifically clarify that it's scaling of casting speed because some things confuse Force Wave to be not a spell but an attack instead. Let's get Luge against that. Good, you've arrived. Besides, Luge against uh, even better right now than it was last season, I guess. Which is hilarious. Hilarious balance. Did they buff it? Yeah, they buffed it in one point two already. Uh, I don't think they nerfed it so far in the 1.2.1. 1. Which means if they don't nerf it, I'll nerf it. But it's still gonna be good, don't worry. There's just like some things about it that are just like completely ridiculous. Right now. They need like a little bit of nerf in my opinion. it to be like still good just not as like completely ridiculous as it is right now this is no fun yeah yeah i'm no fun i don't hate i don't like fun i hate fun You're having fun with your video game? What? Ellie is kind of fun, but it's just not a replacement for Grim Dawn. And it's just a different game. I can enjoy Ellie for like what it is. When you don't die, when you use a certain bow as Falconer. Or you run into like one of the other like 5 billion bugs. If you don't run into those, then it's a fun game, for sure. I mean, Eddie has, like, cool concepts, I think, and has, like, decent item chase and so on as well. I got, done. I got like, downvoted by Ellie Reddit for saying that it's ridiculous for people to expect that every League starter should uh, do, like, 1k corruption and... The game is not balanced around that. Of course. Because uh, there's people that think every 
start a build should do like 1k corruption or something. Right, because I missed him no fun, right? It's totally fun like grinding up to 1000 corruption, base loading everything and then enjoying the actual game. That content that's like, you know, reasonable for your character. Instead of just going to 300 first and then being like at 300 and having 300 being like challenging for you and stuff. That would be no fun, right? Like having challenging content, that's like no fun, dude. It doesn't feel good to do. Like after doing like non empowered monos, which is also like very, very challenging. Then doing like another like 1000 corruption pushing of doing very challenging content until you get to your actual challenging content. That's obviously like the superior way to play the game, right? And also being able to do that only in like five builds because every other build is like just worse and can't do it. You have like insane build diversity doing that fun gameplay loop. That's certainly the way you should play the game. Or like the game should be designed around. Yeah. I mean, I'm like fine with like people pushing like 1k corruption if they like invested tons of hours into like getting like crazy like legendary gear with like 3 or 4 LP and so on, right? You're like doing it in like gear you find at like level 50 basically. Yo, okay, Vinci, allo, allo. Season 6 is coming along. Making good progress, even with the lore now again. So yeah, playtest uh, should start like next week. At least. Is that a site you died killing Ravager a bunch? The low-car set or the room under set? Uh, Lokar said you pump from Lokar, right? Ravager just gives you the helmet. And... Oh yeah, Lujigan is a set that you can use easily to... to defeat Ravager as well. Yeah. It's not part of the Ravager on Lokar. I mean on um, Lujigan. 1.2.1 release that we leaked? No. I have no idea. Uh, I usually only play story content on Ultimate and just go for new playthrough instead then after that. Yeah, I mean, like, whatever, like, floats your boat, right? Like, whatever is, like, the most interesting to you to play. That's, like, the beauty of RPGs. You can, like, play them in many different ways and, like, enjoy them in many different ways as well. Currently following your guide, um... Playing roguelike dungeons for a miles in the guide. Nice, nice. First time in 800 hours. Yeah, roguelike dungeons are tons of fun. They're, like, legit one of the best content in this game, I think. They're very fun. They're not like that much harder than the campaign, I would say. But they are challenging and provide some cool loot as well. I don't think SR is like that bad either, honestly. It's just different. Skating Roguelike Dungeons was one of your favorite season design things. Yeah. I like Roguelike Dungeons are good design in this game for sure, and skating them similarly to SR is uh but like has turned out to be a good idea, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the base game dungeons, they're, like, fun, but compared to, like, Crucible or Shadow Realm, they just don't provide you enough loot, right? They're not efficient enough. But the dungeons actually scale that high to, like, give you good loot as well, you need to play the seasons. Because only those give you, like, or, like, make them actually worth farming for endgame.
Oh yeah, with the events you also get like different waves depending on like what shard you are, or like which shard range you are in, I guess. Oh wait, I mean it's not like shard range, but the whole dungeon level range you are in, right? Most of them are, well, I mean all of them are basically just wave events, but still. I have like different waves. Different ways, different mobs. More waves, less waves. You did the Rhythmic Pestle Purifier, I mean Oppressor, I guess. And the Fire Force with Commando, nice, nice. You rather wanna try new builds? Makes sense. I mean, making new builds is like. Arguably the true end game of Chrome Dawn anyway. Trying different things, trying new builds. Then at some point you might find like a build that you're like, oh, hmm, this one's really really fun. I don't wanna like roll another build, maybe I'll just actually try pushing the build until like infinity. And then is when you might also realize that doing the other end in content is also pretty fun. Bloom farming is a true end game. Fashion Dawn. Yeah, I mean, there's multiple end games, right? Fashion Dawn. Bloom farming. Dungeons. SR. Crucible. Celestia bosses. Blooming up your character. Took you long enough. Took you long enough. A comb it appears that Will infinite blast shield be possible? I mean infinite blast shield will never truly really be possible because the cooldown always starts like once the blast shield is down, right? It doesn't start during the effect, it starts after the effect. But low cooldown blast shield is gonna be pretty strong for the Don't leak your secret build. Ah, uh, don't worry, it's already getting nerfed anyway. Probably, we'll see. Which build you had exactly in mind. But may, may, I mean, I think it's still like insane, right? Like, flat CDR on like Uzuin Amulet, or like flat CDR on like lot of stuff, percent CDR on top. It's gonna be nuts. Hang on, let me. I have not changed the Blado since the announcement of the Blast Shield change, but let me just double check if I, for some reason, like already nerfed that modifier. Let's see. Lawless. <laughs> Removed one second duration to Blast Shield. Oh, yeah, there it is.
I mean, duration doesn't mean cooldown, though. No, it's not. Wait, hang on. Northern Wagon? Oh, it's here. Right. Uh, finding things is too difficult to reach an ultimate piece of nothingness. Is there any way to, uh, to find things faster? What are you trying to find faster? Or like, what are you trying to build around in the first place? Maybe you're trying to build around an item that you shouldn't build around in your first character. Less duration equals on cooldown sooner, so it's up again sooner. Yeah, that's how it works, right? I mean, that is how it works. But... Is that gonna be... better? So once you have done like the ultimate campaign, right? If you want to farm like random legendaries, you should eventually push the Shepherd Realm to like ultimate shard 50 or 65 or something like that, at least. And then farm like the Shepherd Realm. Or farm Crucible, for example, as well. Crucible Gladiator um, has pretty good loot as well. For 2022, yeah, it's still the same year, honestly. At least for Grim Dawn. Like, that tactic hasn't changed. How much are you planning to revamping the Autostats, by the way? Austin for a friend. Um, some will probably actually stay the same. Others will be changed or nerfed or reworked. There might even be, like, two different ways to corrupt items now. It's not entirely 7 stone yet, to be honest. It's not in the... It's not gonna be in the playtest next week. It's gonna be something that I'll be working on pretty much now. I mean, some of the ones that are... OP because they just like give a certain number of a stat and that value is like way too high. Those will be definitely changed. Like the pants, for example, like whatever it was like 9% away or something, right? That was a bit more crazy. But other things like the what was it like the mana shield and so on? Probably stay as they are, I like. Be interesting. Test patch one. Any any minute now. Three weeks ago it said next week. True. Now it says next week. <laughs> Now, I actually have, uh, like... <laughs> now, right now it says, maybe on Sunday or early next week. What's the current status? late next week, it's early next week. Yeah. Exactly. Marciano, welcome, welcome. Monday, 4am. Yeah. 
before I go to sleep. I'll upload it before going to sleep. At 4 a.m. Not yet. No drop rate changes yet. There probably will be some, but not yet. That, that's kind of like fine tuning that I want to do, like once the. This thing has actually started. And I mean, Creator really like buffed, like for example, MIs for Cronley's gang, and I think also for. I have to double check if they actually mm, buffed the drop rates for like certain shorter pieces of Mammoth as well, for example. If not, that's probably gonna happen. Um, I don't know, otherwise, if anything, it's gonna be nerfs, right? Drop rate nerfs, probably. But we'll see. Is there a target form for Avenger set? No. Do you just farm Potems, or you farm Pet Realm, or you farm Crucible? So you farm Avenger Sets. It's like it drops rather often compared to other sets, does it? I mean, maybe. I would say it's like somewhere on the average. Oh, did they like buff Logorian again? Or is that something with the runes and they're like targeting or something? I don't know. I don't know why, but like Logorain seems super tough on this character. Like super spongy at least. Super tanky. Like I don't see the runes like triggering up below him, right? I don't know. Didn't this used to work in the past? You have to like put them in front of him there? I feel like this might be like a rune issue, like a skill issue, right? Like, put them in front of them now, that's... Uh, I don't know, maybe not. No idea. Starter builds before the DLC, oh yeah. 
Yeah, there's gonna be some content, that's for sure. There is gonna be some content. How can I do the same content over and over and over and over again? A yeah, new build, sure. I mean, it's an RPG, right? And that's just like what you do. Also, I'm streaming, so it's different when you stream, honestly. You've returned. So I greet. I have returned, indeed. You're back. I struggle to. You see the luminary of long. More pasta incoming. I, I... The hidden toxicity of the Grimdon community. I, mean, I don't know, there's like PoE players like doing the campaign as well, like five billion times, right? Or like I mean it's the same in every RPG, right? Like it's if it's if you play an RPG that forces you to do to do the campaign, right? Then you have to do the campaign, right? Do I enjoy it fully? Like to the fullest of my senses, as if it was like the first time playing the game ever? No, of course not. But it's fun. Like, to a certain degree. I mean, it's more fun about like, you know, like making the build and like then like seeing how the build performs against like stuff. Right? Doing the same content over and over and over and over and over, right? Like at some point, that's just no matter what game, right? Have you tried the Dragon's Dogma too? No, I have not. I mean, it seems like a decent game, but I'll probably never play it. Might try it if you rip. Wait, you might try it if I rip? Or I might try it if you rip? How does it work? Anyway, we've made it to level 94, right? Level 94 in 5 hours 20. I mean, that's a bit slow, but I mean, it's fine still. Uh, time to go naked and like play the actual build that I had in mind, right? Is this new DLC? No, I don't know. DLC is gonna be at the end of the year. Excuse my father and I were part of Or maybe like early next year even. Life is too short, I won't waste it doing the same thing, but you like it, so go for it. I mean, here's the difference, right? I'm... This is like... I mean, I'm doing this partially because I'm enjoying it, partially because I'm streaming, and partially because it's basically my job, right? So... Like, do you ever feel bored about going to the same workplace over and over and over every single day, even though you actually like your job, maybe? Maybe it's similar, right? You're like... I mean, like... Wouldn't you want to, like, go somewhere else at some point? Uh, kind of the same thing, thing, I guess, in a way. You're not very confident for Titan Quest 2 this year, all they shared so far are concept arts. I mean, they do look pretty cool, though, and the, the models and so on. I mean, it's not only models. I mean, it's not only concept arts, actually. Look at this, right? Let's see here. Uh, right, like, this is in-game stuff. This is, like, in-game environment. This looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Or, like, these are, like, in-game models, right? Look pretty cool. Like, this last pose, honestly, looks pretty nice for Titan Quest 2, not gonna lie. Can I live solo from streaming? Mm, I wish I could. 
but yes, that's also my only work right now. Like streaming, YouTube, and modding for the Grim Dawn community leaks. Those three things are what I'm doing for work right now, basically. That's all I'm doing. I mean, in a way I chose it, in a way I also didn't. It, it, it depends on many things. I'm not living well off this though, like, I'm not living well off this, I like, I like barely make it, let's say it like that, let's be real. But also, I've been a student since over 12 years, I don't have a degree since over 12 years, because of uh, different things that happened in my life, so... Yeah. I could like just finish it, right? But not everything is always like just do it, right? In the in, in world, honestly, I don't know. Some things are a bit more complicated than that. Everything Germany is way cheaper than the Netherlands over here. Who does, I guess, yeah. I wouldn't say it's like way cheaper. Like, it, like if you wanna, if I wanna go like to a, okay, like I could live comfortably, pro like in the Philippines or something like that, right? Like, where it's actually way cheaper, you know. Twelve years is pretty normal. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's actually like put the build together, right? Let's stop talking about like depressing real life. 12 years in uni? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started uh, my studies when I was 18. Moved to Vietnam. Vietnam is kind of cheap as well. I mean, compared to Europe at least. For sure, for sure. But here's the thing also like, uh, companies like Twitch and so on, they also pay you like, depending on like which country you're in and so on. What did I study? I studied biochemistry and then chemistry and then biochemical engineering and now I'm studying computer science. But maybe Putin will invade us anyway. <laughs> uh, I mean... Who the fuck knows, man? The world is only getting crazier and stupider by the day, I feel like, currently. And the drums of war are getting louder and louder. And it's just fucking stupid, but oh well. Uh, what do I do? Runebinder said, right? Wait, didn't I put like Runebinder? I did put it back in stash, right? I did, yeah. I'm not sure if, like, Trump being a president... I mean, for many reasons it would be worse. But about the war situation, I'm not even sure it would be worse or better. Or just, like, differently bad. <laughs> because the current situation is similarly fucked, honestly. Okay, uh, what do we have here? We have like 4% away on the Rune Binder armor. I don't care about the Chaos Rest, honestly, on this build. The Elemental Rest would be nice, but honestly, I want to go for like 4% Fizz Rest, 4% away. HP is nice to have, Elemental Damage is nice to have. This seems like a nice fit right here, for sure. Maybe this one. It's like about the same. I mean, I was doing well until I got basically depressed. Like, I, I, it's not like I was like too stupid for biochemistry, honestly. I was just like, A, gaming too much, and B, being depressed too much. 
That's kind of like what broke my neck when it comes came to that master days. But oh well, you gotta make the best out of it eventually. Not every path is straightforward. I mean, I do have the privilege here to play this wonderful game called Grim Dawn with you guys, because you guys are supporting me to do that. Um, even if I, like, say I'm, like, barely making it, um, even at all, like, having the opportunity to do this is already, like, a privilege, honestly. Because even if you are, like, a good gamer, or, like, you are a good streamer, you also have to have... I mean, it's all sort of, like, luck-based, I think. I mean, on one hand, of course, like, you put a lot of work into this, and hard work pays off, it always does. On the other hand, it's also kind of luck-based with streaming, to be honest. Like, with, like, social media in general. It's very, like, luck-based. Playing League too much back then? I mean, yeah, definitely. It was a negative factor, for sure. Connections are very important too nowadays. They are, they are, they are. The feed is getting oversaturated more and more every year. And if you don't know people that like can push you and so on, then it's getting harder and harder. And all I can say so far is that, apart from like the connections that I've made myself on Twitch, I had nobody in the business that I knew that was able to like push me. So everything that I've achieved so far is like, Only self-marketed, I guess. But then again, uh, to if I wanted to like become even bigger, I guess I would have to like do actual like networking as well. Next out of five, holy fuck, ditch boy, what the fuck? Five thousand biddies. Ay 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 ay. That's crazy. Thank you so much for the support. Wait, how much money is that even? That's like actual money. Crazy. Thank you so so much. I don't even know what to say, man. Because to me, like. It, it's it's kind of crazy to me to even like think about having like so much money to like throw at the screen to a streamer in the first place. So I do appreciate it a lot. Anyway, um, I need to like put some stuff here, right? Snatch some gear. Just the person I'm looking for. Holy fuck! Oh my god! Uh, don't give subs, man. Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gift and subs, Ditch Boy. Ripe Camel, Dorian Rav, MV, DYT284, Beardanska, Arkevistis, High Side, Slad Laddy, Crystal Ice Fox, Annie OK. Congratulations on becoming a bloomer. Welcome on to the bloomers. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. No, I do appreciate it a lot. Um. I mean, I already, like, talked about this topic right, several times, right? Like. Gifting subs may or may not be a good a good way to support a streamer. Yeah, it obviously does help. So thank you so 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 much. And also the community will enjoy more emotes and enjoy like an ad free experience. So that's that's very nice. That's very kind of you to provide that experience for more players or like more more viewers rather. So I'm not uh, complain anymore. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck do I need to get? I need to get a Cinder Touch gloves. I need to get Boots of Promoter Rage as well. From my item assistant. Hello. Right, so these are all items that I've farmed in like over my seven like over my seven thousand hours of like playing this game, right? So just in case you're wondering, is there a infinite stash pool in Grand Dawn where you can like have infinite stash space? Yes, there is. I'm using the Grim Dawn item assistant. I can very much recommend it. It's pretty convenient to use. Mm. Which one do I want to do, do? I want to go for here? Maybe like this one. Let's make it the trifecta. Holy moly! I think it's the 50 bucks, ditch boy. That's insane, man. Appreciate it so much. Wait, how come you're not? How come you haven't? Uh... 
signed up for becoming like a like a league ghost yet. That's crazy. Have you played the Grimdawn Leagues before? Are you interested in playing them? A what now? So here's the thing, right? So like there's there's seasons for Grim Dawn, right? For which we're like working as well on right now. Um Season 6 playtest soon, and then season 6 actual season, hopefully uh, soon after the patch 1.2.1 is out, right? And uh, we're all like running donation base as well, because obviously we don't have the rights on the assets and so on that we're using, or like all the, I mean, all the modding tools are obviously like part of the game itself, right? Um, so we can't like sell the seasons, right? We can only like ask kindly for support uh, for the seasons, and we have like one campaign running. That maybe I should like make more publicly known, and that is if you donate at least like a hundred dollars for the season, then you can PM me on Discord and I can create you to become a ghost ambush, like a co like a custom go ghost ambush hero in the game, right? Um, that's pretty cool, right? And in the leagues we have like a like in the seasons we have like a mechanic, like an ambush mechanic, right? Um, so like for example if you click on a chest there's like a chance to like spawn an ambush and those ambushes can be like different ghosts and we currently have I think 26, 27 something like that different like custom made heroes um, that have names well dedicated to people that have donated to the season and they also can have like you know like a certain theme depending on like what the uh, donator would like the the ghost to be like or to like to represent and so on so uh yeah we're, we're trying to like give some of the like we're of course like trying to give incentive for people to support us more and also we try to give something back for that as well it's kind of like a like a fundraiser kind of thing right where like for example in last epoch the first couple of people that were like fundraising for the game and so on blah blah, blah they had like custom items like made for them and so on and well, we're not gonna make like pay to win or like pay to make my item be a thing in the game really a thing. But instead what we're doing for the seasons is rather we give you the opportunity to pay to kill yourself, right? Uh, like in-game. <laughs> like right, you you pay, or like you you support us rather, and then you can kill yourself in-game, right? <laughs> So there's so like if you are getting nerfed in game because we think for some reason like for balance reasons we need to like tweak yourself right, uh, then you can't be all too upset about it because you're not an item right. Um, we're not like nerfing player power, we're rather like nerfing enemy power if like you're getting nerfed because of like balance reasons. So then you can either kill yourself or you can g get killed by yourself as well in game right. That's uh, uh, the the idea here. So how it works is you would use that donation link and then uh, you can basically donate there and then you PM me on Discord, you PM me with your transaction ID and then I'll give you like further instructions on how to become a ghost ambush hero in season 6 or or 7 depending on like how long it will take to, to make it. Okay. You would eventually become an in-game monster that we can kill. <clears throat> but thanks to Poland and their army, we're a bit more safe in Europe. I guess. Yeah. I mean, ideally, you never actually like need to use your army, but you always have like the army there as a deterrent, right? That's why armies will never be out of fashion. I mean, same thing for nukes, right? I mean, I, I know you're only like donated 50, so... Uh, mm, you, can, you can do it however you want. It doesn't have to be like a hundred bucks in like one donation, obviously. Like, that's, that seems kind of sc scummy, right? Uh, you can use either link and... Uh, another 50 would obviously do the trick.
Okay, I need more cunning. I need to like, okay, I need to like actually think about my build real quick. Right, I need to first of all do Cinder Score. No, not Cinder Scorn. What are the glass call again? Cinder Touch. There it is. I need to grab these. Got something you need stashed. And what do I want here? I want like high fire damage. I don't really like care about the lightning damage, do I? Let's do this then, smiley face. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support, Ditch Boy. Appreciate it a lot. Um, yeah, if, if you aren't on the Discord yet, I don't know if you are. I'm pretty sure you are, right? Just DM me, like, once you are part of the League Discord or the or my personal Discord, you can just PM me. And uh, just let me, like, know I am Ditch Boy. Um, and ideally, you also, like, put the transaction ID or something like that there as well. So I can, like, I mean, I kind of know who you are right, right now. I know who you are. Usually... I would say like you need like the transaction ID as well to like confirm the donation and so on, but I mean I know who you are, right? So you can probably like, skip that step. And then I would like PM you like further instructions when it comes to the design of the hero. What do I wanna look out for on these gloves? I think just offensive ability, honestly. Like 85 OA and maybe like high fire damage. So, like this one, I guess. This seems good. And then next, we go for Scales of Baronov Belt. Scales of Baronov Belt. Okay, that's good. That's nice. What do I want? High armor, ideally. High OA and high percent elemental damage, I think. How's the vitality and pierce rolls? Those are actually both very important too. The high rolls would be 21 and 33. 21 and 33. This one's literally double high roll, but it has kind of like bad OA and damage. And not the best armor either. Maybe go for like... This one has higher armor, still very good resistances. Slightly more damage, slightly more away. This one seems good. There's probably like more that I could like check out here as well. There's a lot of good ones here. I don't know. I don't want to like waste too much time on this thing. So that's fine. And we have a Mark of the Shadow Queen, which I probably have to craft. I've maybe already like crafted some in the past. I do have one here. Let's just use the one that I have. It saves some materials. Then we need some goddess rings as well, right? I wanna use the max CDR room binder weapon because we're gonna be like CDR gated, if anything. Ditch boy, the absolute chat on the idea. Holy fuck. Voxim, thank you so much for the 10 bucks as well. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Honestly, like next week at the very least, once uh, the playtest is out, I should definitely like set up the actual um, like league support goal and everything. Because usually for leagues, I should have a like like goal at the bottom, like a donation bar and so on, and then all of your contributions should and would count towards that already as well. But I kind of wasn't in that like mode yet. But I should be in that mode like next week at least. Starting next week. Oh my god, is that still happening on the Discord? Oh my god,
Dude, the bots are like rampant on Discord recently. It's kind of crazy. It's like part of some bigger ad campaign. I mean, the, the, the campaigns for like OnlyFans and so on, they're like crazy. They're like all over the play, place right now. It's ridiculous. I mean, apparently... Obviously... That side is making a lot of money for certain people. So they're like running... Ads everywhere, like shamelessly. It's absolutely crazy. Alright, uh, next item. Need some rings, need some boots as well. Uh, I mean, pants rather. So we want to use Dreg Sect, right? Dreg Sect pants. Um, but ideally I want like good ones, like Ancient maybe prefix. We're gonna sell it for like level 84 of thorns again, right? <laughs> Classic. Nah, I have to like farm them at some point for sure. Mage Storm of the Fox. Stoneheart of Scorching. And Stoneheart is like additional armor, right? Ancient, I believe, was also regen, right? Like, but there's no ancient one here. Unfortunately. Unlucky. Spear weaving with like vitality and chaos, no thanks. Just start doing OnlyFans and do ads yourself. Really wish you could donate, but I live in a real pirate island of the Caribbean, Cuba. Are oh, you from Cuba? That's cool. I was in Cuba in 2000. Was it 17 or 18? I like it actually a lot there. I mean, obviously it's a different world and like not everything is easy for you guys, but. Uh, the people are nice. And the country is beautiful. Stone of Scorching. Should we actually use that one? Dude, they're all so bad. Oh, are they all so bad? I gotta farm them for sure. Oh well. Uh, this will do for now. Stone High does give me like tons of resistances that I also need, like Poison Rest, Cures Rest, Vitality Rest. I mean, that's actually on the base, but uh, the Stun Rest is nice too, which is over here now, right? 74%. What's my Fizz Rest? Fizz Rest is 23 only. I mean, that's actually more than expected. Oh yeah, Golos Rings. <laughs> Golos Rings. Uh, I think I have like no Golos Rings as well. Aggressive for protection. Mm-hmm. The Red Lord of Readiness. Mm -hmm. These are like literally the best I have. It's kind of sad. But oh well.
Yeah, you want to look for like of the wolf or of the fox. Um, when it comes to what's it called? When it comes to pants, but like on rings, you kind of don't want it right there, right? You want of the fox on the rig sucked ideally. Like this one, like Mage Storm of the Fox, right, for example, could be not too bad. But compared to like Stonehide, it's. I know, just worse, right, doesn't it? Because it doesn't have like percent armor. And honestly, like percent armor is pretty good nowadays. Maybe not, I don't know. It's like a bit hard to me, for me to like evaluate like armor right now, to be honest. I do need 497 cunning either way though and i also need to craft a ignafar's combustion maybe i have one in here ignafar no what are these corvax and nemesis and Nidalos. okay let's make an ignafar's combustion one a bane and the black tallow okay redstone one two three black tallow just re-roll, easy, yeah. Just use a Taxiru essence, right? And then Bane. Wait, so Bane needs... Just an Amber and that's it. That's kind of simple. I mean, they simplify these a lot. These relic the recipes now, that's kind of nice. Okay, what's the completion bonus? Word of Renewal and Inquisitor Seal. Honestly, those are pretty good. I don't mind these at all. These are totally fine. Uh, okay, uh, now we reset the attributes, right? I want to get some more cunning. I need like around, I think, 600 cunning, right? I mean, physique, 600. 30 physique for the belt, and then 497 for the crossbow. Perfect. And the rest I could put either in physique or spirit. Right. Cunning, you don't want to put any more cunning right here right now. You have enough cunning. Uh, you have enough OA. You're gonna like get OA from other sources anyway. Mm, also I need to respec at conclave I guess. Uh, I mean, it's fine. And now the real fun begins, right? Now, crafting components is... What I need to do. I need to craft... Another bloody crystal, probably. I need to craft, like... Hang on, do I have more... Leather. I do have one leather here. The leather goes into, for example... Well, probably gloves, honestly. And then I need to put a... Scaled hide here. Seal, I only have... Well, no seals that I actually want to use myself. I could use Unholy Inscription, actually, for Leech OA. This one is so insane now on this patch, right? Leech OA... And Holy Inscription is a really, really good component now. I'll sell some of this crap, right? I have too many components. Everything is getting cluttered a bit. Do 
You are rich in game, I guess. Um, in game. Okay, we sell all the rest. What about these Anastasia pants? Are they good? Rampage of Fortitude. Who knows? Maybe I'll use them at some point. Who knows? Okay, I can also sell that. Uh, we put all the important stuff over here. And now we start crafting. We start crafting... Sacred platings, right? Sacred platings need blast steel. Blast steel needs aether crystals. Well, input server, which needs even more crystals. Let's go for another twelve servers, and then another. Four blessed steels, or even five, for the sacred plating. One here, one here. Then we need to shine bright like a diamond, so we gotta craft a diamond, which needs probably a... Okay, spark, rough stone, radiant gem. Okay, so rough stone needs a rough stone. Radiant gem needs like a dance fur. A molten shell. A rigid shell. To make the radiant gem. Oh, can I can like make more of these already. And then I need Arcane Spark, right? Hydra does give max moon speed now, yeah. That's pretty nice. Hydra is pretty cool now. And who knows, maybe in the expansion we're gonna get even more ways to get like more max moon speed. Or maybe in the league as well. Who knows, right? Maybe in the league. Hollowed Fang and Six Watch. Make what? A little more? You always want a little more, don't you, Envy? Always a little more. Seed of Resonance, four ward stones. That should be easy enough. One, two, three, four. Uh, why do we want Seed of Resonance for CC resistances and also elemental damage, right? It's nice to have. There we go, boom. You like the belt with 5 billion movement speed? Can we get it? <laughs> Gifted to Ditch Boy? <laughs> There's no pay to win, guys. There's no pay to win. We don't do pay to win here. There is no pay to win. Just an automatic movement speed. It is kinda, yeah. It could be like 5% instead, right? Or 3% or 4%. Dude, I already have no blooms. Are you fucking kidding me? Classic. The real end game of Grim Dawn, farming Ugden Blooms. How's the end game looking like in Grim Dawn? Mm, it's okay. I mean, you have celestial bosses, which are like uber bosses. You have a Shattered Realm, which is like a Diablo 3 Rift Star system in a way. 
You have dungeons, which are, well, like the dungeons of that epoch, but better, like, better, better layout at least. The bosses in the dungeons are maybe, like, less interesting, but the layout in the dungeons are more, more interesting than in Ellie, like, more fun at least. Uh, you have the Crucible, which is like, well, Lassipok's arena is inspired by the Grim Dawn Crucible, and the Crucible is... It's not infinite, but you could argue that, like, the design of the waves is a lot more interesting. Um, there is no, like, insane, like, mapping system like in PoE, right? It's not, like, as extensive as that, but... I think, like, it's pretty good overall. And then there's, like, making new builds, build diversity, and so on and so on. Uh, which some people consider to be endgame, some people don't. Depends, right? But yeah, I mean, compared to, like, Palo of Exile, Grim Dawn has, like... Good, you're back. Not that much endgame. Compared to a game like Diablo, or, like, any Diablo game, or, like, Lost Epoch, I think Grim Dawn has, like, a decent amount of endgame. Like, it's... About the same, or I'll give even more actually. Thanks for the Prime, Mr. Rappels. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the seven months. I mean, when it comes to, for example, like Celestial, like Uber bosses, right? Like Grimdon has six, Last Epoch has zero, right? So it has more of that. And on the other hand, you could argue that, like, the, the mapping system in LE is maybe like more complex and like the what's it called like the model of the system is like a bit more end game than like the shadow realm and grim dawn but i don't know like grim dawn has a proper fully fleshed completed campaign that an ultimate difficulty is also actually really hard at least for, for like a new player i would say it's pretty hard so like like it kind of like tries to make the campaign part of the end game in a way and it does that way better than, like, Palo Exile does, or, like, any other RPG does, honestly. So it has that going for it as well. Fourteen hundred region. What's the max on this right now? Nineteen out of twenty, fourteen hundred region only. Yeah, I'm gonna need, like, region augments, right? Otherwise, this is gonna be... Well... I could also... 1400 region. If I just pump everything for Zeke now... How much region is that? It's no region. <laughs> the Zeke is like so bad for region, it's not even funny. The Zeke is great for like HP and DA. Oh, right, that's kinda nice. Holy shit, it's bad for like anything else. For region, I mean. What do you think, guys? Physique or spirit? You, you can kind of dump both, honestly. You can do like a mix. Okay, now I definitely need to get augments going, and for augments, I need reputation. Potent Dreek's Foresight. That's a very potent... The Inquisitor's Seal does increase the regen too, that's true, actually, yeah. Yeah, it's actually not too bad, the Seal's regen. It's decent. We need to, like, take out points here and the key as well. If I can click for Zeke, you will. Spirit is good for content. And spirit is damaged as well. Let's put like a little bit of both, like this maybe. It's like 55 physique, 32 for spirit, uh, maybe like we do 50 physique. I mean, these numbers are actually kind of fine, but slow rest is so bad. It's literally 0%. Well, 
What the fuck? What was even happening? Okay, I need to like put more poison rest on the on the boots, right? Or I put like a mark of Mokjogan there. But then I need poison rest. I need poison vitality, right? Probably, if anything. Yeah. And Aether rest as well. Badly. I mean, I got Aether Rest from just like putting another point here, and then like I get Aether Rest from Black Legion. See anything you like? Iron well spent. Ideally, I want to get Aether Poison Rest, right? Which is, I believe, Bismiel, yeah, Bismiel. Yeah, I kinda, I kinda just need Forgotten Gods, right? I gotta run Forgotten Gods. Wait, why is Elemental Rest so bad? Arcanum Dust. Classic. I mean, Seer gives you overcap as well, doesn't it? Yeah, Seer gives you overcap. And it's probably kind of fine if you have like capped rests and then like Seer giving you overcap. That's honestly fine to play it like that. What kind of Warlock will I be making? I will probably be making a Chaos Aether Ray Warlock. Like a Chaos Ray Warlock, that's the idea. Okay, do we empty exit up now? Or not? What's like the best MTX, guys? Which one do you like the most? Hold on, I, I don't even have it here. Should we go float? <laughs> mm. I wish there was like different recolors of those. To be honest. Float is goat. Float is pretty nice, yeah. It is indeed. Uh, anyway, I gotta take a short break real quick. Thanks so much for staying here with me. I will be playing this character for like, for like another hour after the break, at least. Maybe like two. Uh, let's see how far we can go. Um, the Rune Binder set does have a new rune as well, right? Actually, I have like triple runes now. Fire Lightning and Cold, pretty cool. I'm gonna put a um, seal here, maybe, and then the room here. Oh, the shots. Yeah. That's what I mean, right? Like, overlapping, like, lighting effects. Like, this, <laughs> with a seal below, it gets pretty glowy pretty quickly, right? Pretty bright. Can't see shit. Okay, what's the rune augment on this? Displacement. Okay, that's good. I'll, uh... Leave you with this music, and I'll be right back.
I flicked through the score, thank you, exactly. <clears throat> that was a long pep break, wasn't it? Holy shit. Crazy. <laughs> Anything new? Depends what you think is new. Mm. There's like a <clears throat> sorry. There is like a like a playtest update, but that's it. I think yesterday there was one. It's no like crazy big update or like crazy big news. <clears throat> Not yet, at least. Maybe next year. I mean, maybe next month or next week. We'll see. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Iron well spent. We shall see. We shall see. So I do want to push through the Forgotten Gods area, I think, now with this character. <clears throat> because I do need augments. So, you the th go. Go. Go and do the thing. Cocainum. Hello, hello. The emissary Okay. <laughs> she thought cocaine is legal since April instead of weed. Yeah. <laughs> you are on cocoa right now. Wait, are you like I could hear the action not kidding whenever you say that? Like I I don't know with you sometimes, like I will dominate, say so, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> See anything you like? You never did drugs except for ibuprofen. <laughs> That's cute. Iron well spent. The weeping spines do not lie. Drig or the memories of Drig the or weep. But uh, Drigor Bissala, I mean. By your side. Hmm. Honestly, maybe... I mean, I need both anyway. The Doesn't really matter that much, man. I... Speak to Kira. Skies, our seers sing... Our skier, seers are high on cocaine right now again. I mean, what? On... On what? <coughs> Isn't all medicine considered drugs? That's why it's called a drug store, right? Yeah. It's so colorful, actually, this set. Look at those, so many pretty colors. Mm -hmm.
This is like Nasi Pok. It does indeed, yeah. Crandon goes great with LSD. <laughs> dude, that's fucking evil, dude. Heck, insane emotes. <laughs> uh, dude, yesterday, yesterday night, when I was morning on the season once again, I had like, I did the mistake or whatever you want to call it, to pull up like Artosis stream in the background or like on one of my monitors. Dude, Artosis' stream is beyond unhinged. Like, holy fuck. I thought he's like a professional like StarCraft caster and so on. I mean, he is, but his stream is like more degen than like anything I've ever seen before. It's crazy. <clears throat> I mean, where do you think I found it? <laughs> More DJ than Quinn? Arguably, yeah. It's like actually more DJ than Quinn. I mean, it's not like people are hating on him as much. Like, it's not about like hate watching that much. It's just about like being like the general like DJ. Like it's it's less hate watching than than Quinn's stream. It's like less people making fun of the actual streamer, as like people just being like generic like degens. Like our post stream is more like people just being like generic degens. I think like legit more than Quinn's stream. <clears throat> but like in a still like trolly and fun way. It's it's a very special humor though as well. It's. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. At first I was also like, holy fuck, like how are you even like able to watch the stream? And then there's some things where you just have to laugh and you you can't stop laughing. Cause it's so absurd in a way. I I guess kinda like how the Quinn experience is like the first time it was like, what the fuck did I run into here? And then you still just like stay because it's like so fascinating and absurd. It's very different than Quinn's stream, but I guess similar in a way. Also, this fucking build like just literally one shots everything so far. Like, what is this build even? Am I playing like Fui or what is this? <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't remember him like being the bad DJ when casting though. I mean, I did watch some of Starcraft obviously, but holy, it wasn't like that DJ. Playing the Grimdown campaign, what do you expect? Uh, true. I didn't. I did. I didn't toggle the ascendant mode yet, did I? Ascendant mode one. Is the StarCraft game any good? I mean, I played like Brood War back in the day. Uh, you've never played StarCraft ever. I don't think it's like worth it to start playing it now, but. It's a good game, and I mean, it was good back in the day. I mean, if you like like real-time strategy games, then it's still like I mean, Sacred Two is still like a great game, honestly. It's still like one of the best RTS games. I mean, Age of Empires Two is great too. Age of Empires Two and like Sacred Two, I would say like currently the best two. <clears throat> Bad game got wrecked by Protoss, yeah, and salty to this day. Started two years ago, still fun to play co op StarCraft 2, yeah. True, I mean, StarCraft 2 is also. Like, you wanna play like custom maps, for example, as well. I mean, you don't play Warcraft 3 anymore, right? You just play StarCraft 2. Like, StarCraft 2 custom maps are still fun. StarCraft 2 hasn't been ruined by like any reforging of like Warcraft, right? Like, there is no StarCraft 2 reforged, luckily. So, nothing has been ruined yet. Uh, season 5 will include all previous content from previous seasons, yes, and Season 6 will kinda too. I mean, some content will be reworked a bit, or like rebalanced, but <clears throat> there is never like any content that's like really gone.
I mean, some things can be nerfed, obviously. That doesn't mean the content is gone. But it's still, it's still there. Rebalance equals nerf. I mean, not always. Not always, but sometimes, since. Yes. Oh, at least I still like do my skills, but what the fuck am I doing? <clears throat> I still have like more than 20 points down here. Okay, let's see this guy, right? Let's see how fast he does. And he's dead, right? Hmm. I wasn't even that fast because, like, the runes have to, like, trigger first, right? <clears throat> I hate fun, yeah, I hate fun. Having fun in the video game? <clears throat> Not on my watch. Next crate game will be an RTS, I heard. Yeah, that's actually correct. That is actually correct. They're currently writing their engine for the upcoming RTS game, and then also <clears throat> they want to do Grimdon 2 on that engine as well, right? Copium? I mean, surely, right? Surely. Who knows? But yeah, the RTS will be in the Grimdon universe as well, which is going to be already pretty fun, I think. In Grimdon 2, you can control every pet RTS. Yeah, it's, it's an ARPG, guys. It's totally Grim Dawn 2, right? You just build a base and then you control, like, multiple heroes with multiple classes. It's totally like, uh, an, RT like an ARPG. <clears throat> Definitely not an RTS. Does the Grim Dawn RTS have a hero system like Warcraft 3? No idea. No clue. Who knows? Technically, Father's Frontier is an RTS. I mean, it's a little far fetched. What's my verdict? Ah, it's way too early for verdict. This is way, way too early for new verdict. <clears throat> Crate's intended brand is making games for boomers. <laughs> I mean, they're not gonna make the new, like, Battle Royale. That's for sure. Box Entertainment. Made by boomers for boomers. Are you okay? Titan of War. Great makes games for people that don't like marketing. <laughs> <clears throat> that, that, that as well, yeah. Just don't do marketing. Does anybody remember Reynard? It's a Hearthstone streamer. Does anybody like know or remember that guy? <clears throat> Reynard. Does anybody know that guy? Maybe that's the wrong chat for that. But yeah, he started to... How do we escape this first plan? Okay, you know him. <laughs> I guess you know him, yeah. Yeah, he went from like professional Hearthstone streamer and player to making his like basic own website. Which was kind of like a, you know, like a build guide website for Hearthstone decks basically. To making his, working on his own game 
to still working on his own game, but also being weirdly sidetracked by the Bible, I guess, or like by certain interpretations of the Bible. Uh, I don't know, like if he's like a game designer or a cult leader nowadays. But... Kind of like reminded me a little bit of like the Athene arc as well. I think if you guys remember Athene, the World of Warcraft player, they had like a similar arc going on for him. Chill with Yeti on 4. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, Blizzard did what they do best, right? They took a concept that works and simplified it and made it available to the mainstream market. Uh, they've been doing that ever since Warcraft 1, I would dare to say, even. And then the Gothis. Piano build? Kinda, yeah. I mean, you have to like press down one, two, three runes and then the seal as well. And if you're playing Cure Park, for example, you have to like use debuffs. Like, um, I mean, depending on like, the secondary class you have, you have like different debuffs like Thermite Mines or uh, Guardians if you play Paladin or Curse of Reality if you're playing Deceiver, for example. But yeah, I mean, it's like a. It's like a it's a, it's a trap caster with more than one trap, so you have to like press multiple buttons. Yeah, I mean, back when I started playing Hearthstone when it was like new, you know, I was also looking at like MTG because like obviously a new magic and. Or like at even Yu-Gi-Oh, like digital versions of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, they were just all utter shit, like. They were like unplayable then. So Hearthstone it was. Hey! Hey! <clears throat> I guess Vindicator also works, yeah. Like, sure, if you, like, play Windows on top. You play it in current 1.2 patch. I'm playing it under 1.2.1 patch. Um, where the runes have a shorter armoring time. They have 1 second instead of, like, 1.5 second armoring time now. Um, which I think feels significantly smoother. I mean, there's still an armoring time. And I think, like, anything shorter than 1 second would probably have, like, weird-looking animations. I mean... I tried putting it like lower than one second in the leagues, like in like playtest, like logo playtest on my PC. But <clears throat> um, yeah, it just looked weird, honestly. I think one second is fine. And Zentai settled for the same, I guess. Hey, stop Which is reasonable. This is so weird. Oh, Legends of Rutena, Te Runeterra also exists. Yeah, true, true, true. Legends of Runeterra is arguably a more interesting game than Hearthstone. But I never, like, got into it, because, like, by the time that game came out, I really, like, played too much Hearthstone. I even played Gwent. And then, like, by that time, I was like, you know, fuck card games. I don't want to play any more card games in my life. And maybe like every now and then, but not like competitively. Yeah, three lane squint was fun. I played three lane squint. Once they like moved to two lanes, I quit. I mean, maybe like two lanes are actually like better balanced, but I don't know. Three lane squint was cool. Two lane squint was just, I don't know, boring. And then I stopped like after one week, I think. Like, literally, like, one week after the patch for, like, three to two lanes, I stopped playing Gwent. Yeah, the daily wins and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming up. I should, like, played Hearthstone anyway and wanted to, like, rank up the ladder and, like, be legend and so on. And yeah, sure.
And I was like top, I don't know, top 50 or top 20 legends at some point in Hearthstone. With several leagues in a row. Um, but, I don't know. Those are also like momentarily like snapshots, right? Like momentary snapshots. Uh, I never like qualified for any like actual tournaments that actually mattered. What troubles you? How is it possible we only have 36 viewers? I mean, most people are watching on Twitch for live streams usually. <clears throat> Safe journey. What troubles you? Stay strong. We need 15. Holy, sh holy smokes. We got 5 here, 16 here, 12, 1, 24, 1, yeah. And then 1 here. Oh, we gotta remove the points for ignition, I think. <clears throat> I don't think ignition is that good here. 20 here, sure, and then 1 here, right? And then more the Ace Red and Biting Cold, probably. And eventually, like, also 5 more points on Blast Shield. It's all about the chat. I mean, it depends, like, if you like the quality on YouTube more, the quality on Twitch more, if you like the the chat, <clears throat> the emotes. Some people don't care about emotes, other people do care a lot about emotes, and Twitch has uh, a better emote variety, that's for sure. Put it to good use. Most will no matter what. I mean, for the campaign, yeah. Later on, it will matter. Like, for actual end game, it will matter again. Who cares about gameplay? <laughs> Got a game, the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. YouTube algorithm is like kind of cancer, I don't know. You're not wrong. <clears throat> you kind of gotta play that game. Kind of wish the runes had their armor time reduced even further. You like to put it as a support to a reduction, but as of right now, it's just activating way too late. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Like as a support skill, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Unless you're like face thinking anyway. If you're playing like a melee cold build, or like any melee build that needs like more the H-Rod, I think getting like the rune on top is not like that bad if you can like afford the points. Ground Zero gaming is better to watch for true skill and mastery. Oof. I mean he's actually like more knowledgeable in PoE than me, that's for sure. Right now, simply because he has like played the game way more than me this point because he's not like haunted and hard stuck in grim dawn <laughs> less than two percent of the people watch good gameplay i like in my channel i don't think so definitely not that's not true uh, generally on twitch maybe that's probably true yeah could be true you are the two percent Watch for the conversation around the game as well. Yeah. I still think like 2% is not the right number. I would say it's like 20% maybe. Or... Yeah. Like maybe even more than that. Like 20-30% something that I would say. Yeah, this is just a flashbang build at this point. All the runes are so fucking bright, dude. 
Like all the runes overlapping and stacking rather. Yeah, it's pretty fucking bright. It's not it's not as bad as some builds in LE. Like exploding ballista or something like that, but You stay for the trippy screen rotating. Ah shit, what am I doing? Just go here and just port here. No way I'm in level 96 when I started yesterday at level 1. Yes I am. I played this character for a total amount of 6 hours and 32 minutes. That's my total gameplay, like game time on this character. I mean I'm not like starting completely fresh on this character, I'm always like using gear that I have found on other characters before this one. That make it easier and faster to level up. You can get from level 1 to 94 in like 4 hours in this game if you like really try hard. <clears throat> and Grimdot audio is also kind of chill honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I mean, what you're saying is definitely more true for like, <clears throat> like the bigger the stream becomes, the more it's true what you're saying. For sure. I mean, who watches Queen for the gameplay? Except for the occasional like rip clip. And then again, there's other examples where like people watch even more, like even less for the extra gameplay, right? Like some people actually do watch Quinn for like, at least the rip clips, right? Jeremy Soul. Is that the guy who made the Morrowind soundtrack? Maybe. His audience is mainly Asian. Interesting. <clears throat> I mean, it also like depends on like what you're making your channel, like what you can roll your channel around, right? What kind of theme or what kind of game, and like what you. I don't know, like what, what you want to be like known for and so on. <clears throat> Ultimately, streaming is a social interaction with your chat, unless you're playing with no cam and not never reading chat ever. Like some of the old school streams for like League of Legends and so on, I feel like they were way more about like gameplay only, right? I mean, even back then, like, people were watching Hotshot because of, like, why new why memes and stuff like that, but generally, I think, like, streams were more about gameplay back then because I feel like people were reading chat, like, or, like interacting with chat arguably less than they are nowadays, and just, like, simply playing the game because also less people had, like, I mean, some people were, like, streaming with, like, only one monitor, right? So they couldn't interact as much even. Like they couldn't like interact like during the game. Only like out of the game. Yeah, I mean I like playing Age of Empires 2 but I don't have much time to play it. So I watch more than I play, for sure. <clears throat> and I mean there's like multiple Age of Empires castles as well, but for some reason, like, I somehow, 95% of the time at least, I only watch T90 stuff. I don't know why. It's not even like he's a... I mean, he's an entertaining caster, for sure. Like, in his own way, and he also always has, like, some story, right, that he, like, keeps, like, talking about on the side as well. And he casts not only pro games, but, like, all those, like, community games and so on, which are hilarious as well. So... Do I watch T90 for the gameplay? It's like a mix of everything. I mean, if there was more game... I mean, I've actually, like, I have 
closed like T90 streams or videos because the game really was shit. Or like because the games were just not interesting. I have done that, for sure. Like for me it's like a mix of everything together. More akin to that chat room with live voiceover. I guess like this kind of helps. And of course, like enjoying something together, right? Enjoying a game together, enjoying something together with somebody else that maybe somebody in your real life that you know wouldn't enjoy with you. And well, games, especially like very specific games. It's not always something that, like, your close friends also enjoy in real life. And then, well, you're, like, looking for other people to share your enjoyment no playing a game with, right? And then you check out streams that play the game you would like to play as well. And that you would like to enjoy together with somebody else. Noogie was your radio. I never did much radio streaming, or like watching radio streams to be honest. I never really did that, no. Well, like, I, I do it sometimes when I'm like well, cooking. I have like Kerplunk or somebody else like on, on my mobile when I'm like cooking, but otherwise, nah. Not that much. Like, when I'm on my PC, like, I never did that. See you around. Like, neither in the past nor now. <clears throat> oh, fuck, I didn't do the Gelfang pack hounds yet. Oops. You watch Ark for the nonsense? Yeah, Ark was one of those streams where I was like, what the fuck is this place at first? And then I grew to actually like it a lot. Sometimes it's a little weird, and sometimes it's a little bit too like too much, and some of the takes are just very weird sometimes. But more often than not, they are like either just ridiculously fun or even like more reasonable takes than like from some other streamers. In a way, but not always. Certainly not always. <clears throat> My music variety is insane compared to Ark. Is it? Sometimes I feel like Ark, like mine isn't much better than Ark's. Ark is more weird than Quinn. I mean, he is, but he's also more intelligent. Yes. Yes. I hear you. He he is weirder, but also higher IQ. I'm pretty sure. Ike has like one playlist. <laughs> I mean, yeah. At least he seems more intelligent to me personally. Maybe not. Okay, great. Fix your game. Holy fuck. Um, what is this? Last Epoch? Am I playing Last Epoch right now? Huh? Fucking real. Uh, I think I know what's happening here, but holy shit. Okay. I mean, I guess time for bug report. Look at this root, dude. The root. The root of all bugs. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, Quinn is more creative, like for sure. Quinn is the more creative guy. 100%. But sometimes I wonder is it him himself or is it like his mods carrying him like crazy?
Like, production quality is pretty high in Quinn's stream, for sure. Like, effort and so on is... flipping through the roof, yeah. <clears throat> but then again, Artosis, like, still beats him on the degen uh, meter, for sure. Music? What is this? Quinn and Co Carnage. Wait, where's Quinn even? Is he just... He's, is he the drummer? Oh no, they, he's the other singer. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, I can't watch it on stream though. But yeah. Or rather, not on YouTube. Yes, hundred percent sure. The camp grows the free the primordial. Fuck. It's a parody, no. Yeah, and then I have to manually, like, say it's a parody. Please stop demonetizing my video, and then they're gonna be like. No. And then I'm gonna be like, okay. Either I get a lawyer or I just accept it. <laughs> and I don't have the money to get a lawyer, so yeah. But then again, I mean, it wouldn't matter all that much, right? Like the couple cents of like... Monetization of the... Ads on YouTube, I guess. Two years for nothing. Oh, lawyers are good at that. Lawyers are very good at, like, doing nothing. And then be like, here, 1,000 1, euros, please. Pay the bill now. Do it now. Yeah, 350 years is like nothing for a lawyer, honestly. That's like one hour for some lawyers. Or maybe two or three, depends. Which is ridiculous, if you think about it. But. pounds per hour here in the UK is a reasonably good one, yeah. yeah. No more we will rock you builds guide. If you make it yourself, I kinda of depend. I only use the beat for that and then like I sang myself over it, right? So I don't know why, but like that video for example that like Illuminator linked. Like it's literally already like flagged. 
I mean, or like auto detected by YouTube, right? It says like Casey Musgraves Depot Well official music video, right? Like UMG. So it's like already like auto detected and thus like instantly monetized usually. Or like if you would use that, it would like get instantly monetized. At least from my experience. And for example, I actually had like a recent case again. Like, uh, I was using the Horizon C Zero Dawn OST quite a lot on stream, right? As like a background music. And then recently I did like another stream where I used that. And then the video got demonetized. I'm like, wait, what? What the fuck? And then like apparently like one of the tracks in that OST all of a sudden got like a new uh, like copyright basically. And for that copyright, fair use policy doesn't apply anymore. So yeah, I can't use it anymore. So no, I have to remove the Horizon Zero Dawn from my OST playlist now because it will it would like demonetize all my videos in the future if I use it again. And I mean, I tried like, you know, obviously like saying, uh, what the fuck, I'm just like using it as like background and like it's free use, etc. blah, 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 right? And there are YouTubers just like, nope, fuck you, you're not getting any money. Can you just remove the song? Yeah, I, I could like... I gotta set up like the, the dual tracks thingy, right? I still don't have it set up right now, right now. It. But it's again like unnecessary work. Like if I can choose between like using an OST where I don't have to do extra work and I and or like an OST where I do have to do extra work. I would just use the one where I don't have to do extra work, right? Lazy streamer. And if I was like paid a hundred bucks per, per per hour, I would do it, obviously. <laughs> or like, you know, anything close to a decent salary. Like for the actual editing part, you know. But like, it literally doesn't matter at all. Just abuse a mod, yeah. yeah. What happened to instability, by the way? He quit? Yeah, but why? Quinn didn't pay him? Is that actually the truth? I said wait for that. It depends on the brand there, exactly. I mean, some claim copyright, some don't. I'm usually going for whatever gets like auto-detected by YouTube as being copyrighted, I just don't use that. And yeah. Like basically, for example here, right? The the Quinn Corconch thing, right? If it sells this, this is like automatically generated by YouTube, right? If it sells this down here, like music, if it has this, I'm not gonna use it. This OST from Fury, for example, right? It doesn't have that. It has like this down here, but it's just like the the, the thing here, right? Like the, the whoever like put this online, right? But it has if it has like this kind of stuff here, then nope. It's a no-go from like it's not like I mean you, you might still be able to use it but you always have to like say that you either have a license for it or 
Like it's always a, a like a struggle, right? Like a house on it. Which is fine, like once you have like an actual big stream and you have like an editor and so on that can like do it for you, and you have like the money to like pay him, including like a lawyer maybe on top, right? Then that's fine, right? And then I would use that kind of stuff as well. But in my situation, like it just doesn't make any sense to ever waste my time on doing anything like that and or get demonetized anyway then make even less money like it just doesn't make any, any, any sense in any way which is why for example i usually either play like game ost right stuff or i for example use white bat audio right like he like car casey stuff because car casey has everything like uh free to use he doesn't have any copyright claims like he doesn't invoke any copyright claims ever but it's also because for example if you go to like uh white bad audio for example right so you go to like white bad audio right you click on like some random track here i don't know something right i mean he has he has done some stuff like only for subs now but otherwise right if you like go here yeah, it's just like chapters thing, but no like music auto detection going on, right? But if you go, for example, for uh, the Prime Thanat Prime Thanatos, this guy, I used to use his music like back when I was like a really, really small streamer. If you go like to something here, right? Then boom, right? Music. So this is like insta like no go for stream. Like you would instantly get um, demonetized. If you if you use this music and you upload something to YouTube, you will automatically be de demonetized, and then you will basically argue against YouTube and win an argument against YouTube that your stuff should not get demonetized, and you might get lucky or not, and usually it's uh, not. <laughs> For the lawyer, content producer fund to get you some more tunes, smiley face. Yo, married guy, thanks for the 20 bucks. The more tunes. Does it mean I have to like invest those 20 bucks to like actually buy a copyright for music? Wonka. I, I Now I have to like actually work. Put work into music. Fuck! <laughs> I can I can see like maybe like what kind of like cheap copyright I can get somewhere. I'm not sure twenty bucks are gonna get us any bangers. Yeah. Can you survive my DMCA. Whoa. Yeah. It's like whenever like Quinn is playing like YMCA, right? Like DMCA. Renette the rat god. The rat jam god. Now I'll, I'll figure out like maybe some new music at least. At least like search the internet for some more like free to use OSTs maybe or other channels similar to white bed audio to get some better write in the future. And at least invest the time to do that. I can do that for 20 bucks for sure. Oh wait, I need to go here anyway, right? Um, when do I go here? Once I get the sigil, right? There's something I need to get here first. It is as it was meant to be. Ow. Wait, hang on. I got the sigil of the three, right? Have you? So there's like another quest. Conclave, I believe. I said Renette the Red God at the same time. With is one of our okay, let's go and kill Inara as well. <clears throat> Inara the Afflicted.
Do you hear the voices too? It's a good thing. Do you hear the whispers too? Northern Worm. Mm, it's a cool item too, actually, that I've never played around yet. The Northern Worm. They're in the walls. Have I considered putting Grimbon OST over Grimbon gameplay? Uh, I've done that in the past, actually, every now and then, yeah. But I mean, it gets a little state at some point as well. Right? That's just a little ridiculous, isn't it? It's pretty good. Rune Binder is pretty strong. Really? Again? Wait, how does it like keep happening on this patch? The fuck? What? That's weird. Create adding more bugs. Nice patch. There's so much damage on this, it's crazy. I do not know who you are, and I suppose I do not care. 
When Dravis confronted me, he confronted me. Hello. <laughs> the frenzy of cruelty, it's a triple rare though. Hold the phone. Dude, anywhere where you can like free stack. It's pretty insane. And as always. New meta build for season 6. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Yeah, I mean this is pretty bursty, is it not? Bursty casts at least, bursty traps. I mean, I'm fine with this kind of power if, like, it was like a bit harder to like complete some sets in this game. Like, gear is really not hard to get, right? It's a faction metal. I mean, okay, this belt, these boots, these gloves, and like the set is random. But once you have the blueprint for the helmet, you have the entire set. And legendaries aren't like that hard to get in this game, are they? I don't know, I mean, I guess it depends a bit, but... Stone out of Scorching Pants. Close to 4k regen as well. To be honest, you need that. If you don't have this regen, regen is just not good. So I don't even think the defense is like that OP on this build. The damage might be like maybe a little bit strong. We'll see. Okay, pre-stack everything, right? Let's see here. I am sorry. I would be disappointed too by this performance. Holy fuck. <laughs> After all these centuries, rebuild yeah i just need like 200 percent movement speed instead of 135 and then it's basically pv rent how long <laughs> not a rectus pv <laughs> 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 
pew, pew, through, through. My pew bells have a little bit less damage than this. Yo, way, way. Don't come right, cool. Am I winning? I guess. I put together the build and then it won. Or me, kinda. Come, little human. Come, little human. <laughs> Legendary set dies of cringe. Yeah. <laughs> it took so much effort to put together, yeah. Dude, I had to like use like two brain cells almost. I'm crazy, man. I mean, devotions are like skill point of vacation, but. And like what other rings and so on you need to use, but can it get long enough before you can summon his friends? Uh probably not. He spawns him like really soon, right? Okay, core quack. I need to like pre stack like, a little bit in front of him, right? I mean, okay, let's, let's pre stack here, right? So it doesn't like insta trigger again. And then you have to walk into it. Okay, phasing, phasing. Korok fucks you! More like you fuck Korok on this guy. Uh, okay, that's a build. Balance must be maintained. Yeah, how ironic. Is there anything that bursts as hard as this build in 1.2? Like 1 to 1. With pre stacking, when I consider it, like if you can pre stack, there's probably nothing right now that can burst harder than this now. Uh, consistent DPS, something like mortars or so on is probably stronger still. Or maybe some night plates as well. Like some night plates are also like still insane damage to be honest. You can kind of pre-stack mortars as well. I mean... Is it faster than this though? I kind of doubt it to be honest. Yeah. Come see what's left of my wares. Ah, I've been expecting you, human. Yo, Jangles, thanks for the prime. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for the support. See you around. Got something you need stashed. Alright, how's my reputation looking like? I actually re revered with the part of the rig, but not with Bismil or Solal. Feels bad, man. Time to do bounties. Greetings. I guess. Time for bounties. Korvac. His count has been. We must do. We must do not. We must do not. His count has been crushed. I'll keep you Huh? Save with me. Promise. Hey, what's my rep? Where's my rep again? What? Am I blind? Do 
Dude, I literally like for a second like forgot where I put like my hotkey for bound for like reputation. Fucking Alzheimer, dude. Big boomer. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> See anything you like? See anything you like? Do you like what you see? Is this even better than Creed Scanning, which also like gives you 45 OA? I'm not even sure, to be honest. Put it to good use. And it's more HP though, right? Yeah, okay, it's more HP. Okay then. Okay. Come see what's left of my wares. See you around. I need to bust me all thing, right? I also still gotta do. Um, I gotta, I gotta do like Act Six for. I don't know what. The skill point, right? The attribute point. Welcome. Spell Breaker could probably deal in more damage. Maybe, or Dervish, or... Ah, I've been expecting you, you. Thanks for the Prime, Obstava. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome to the Bloomers. Thanks for the Prime. I mean, Breaker could hit harder, Infiltrator could hit harder, maybe. Um, <clears throat> Witch Hunter, Dervish. All the night blades like can be yeah, hit pretty hard with like single bursts when you focus on shadow strike. Love your content. Hey, glad you liked it, man. Glad you liked it. Thanks for watching. Wait, who falls in room binder damage is fine. How's it fine? Everybody told him it's fine. I mean to be fair, I haven't like tested like actual content yet, so. While it might seem explosive right now, it might not actually be that great for actual endgame, who knows? Do you do the time stacking? Oh, he's just saying the burst is too insane when you pre-stack? I mean, obviously, right? Obviously. Like, you don't you don't balance runes around, like, pre-stacking, in my opinion. That's just, like, a rune thing that, like... It's just, like, part of the mechanic. You still have to, like, balance around... Like... The DPS. Where Runebinder might still be insane, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think right now though, with like... 16% RR on the Stormcrawler's Rune and 26% RR on the Seal on top. It might be like a bit too much RR, right? It has the flippant set has 42% resistance reduction right now, and it might be too much. Like I don't want 
Zant have a smoking when he like gave the set 42% resistance reduction, but that is quite a lot. <laughs> that is maybe arguably too high. Nature's bounty. Wait, was he playing a purifier as well? I mean, regen makes sense for purifier. Please. It also makes sense for vindicator, Please. I guess. See you around Shazva, good night, good night. You think Rimbine is fine by all means because the armoring time is still a downtime and the other bills don't really suffer from? I mean... Maybe. Maybe, maybe. To be honest, like for farming, it's no speedrun build for farming, definitely not. It's better in environments like the Crucible than I would say in SR or like in campaign farming, <clears throat> that's for sure. I mean, yes, you can like totem pre stack, but. So you kind of like just delete the totem, so there's like no challenge in the actual totem fight, but like getting to the totem, doing the setup for the totem and so on. That's still like a lot of like time investment to be honest. Like a lot of time invested rather. So yeah, you do have to consider like the armoring time when you look at the damage of a build like this. I think for SR it's pretty bad, like mechanically bad for SR, but like good for Crucible and like for totems and bosses, I guess. But then again, for Uber Celestial bosses, I don't know if it's that good for that either, because like you can't burst them down, so you will need like so consistent DPS and sustain, or just have to like kite around in circles, and then the damage. Or like the performance just uh, is well worse. Yeah, I kind of agree. You liar. Like, if it can do like one content well and like others less, that's totally fine. If you seek all good, what I can like even though all the damage against like for example, Father Kaiman seems ridiculous, but I mean, how often do you like farm Father Kaiman? in the main campaign, like, you don't do that endgame. It's not, like, what you do. And even if it's, like, great in Crucible, but, like, bad against bosses, that's kind of fine, too. And honestly, like, simply just, like, walking through maps it's not the fastest of doing that, right? Because it has like no shadow strike. I mean, yeah, I guess you could like... No, you can't even... That's a gun. And you can like play Hydra with a gun though and get like more max movement speed, right? Ah, not Hydra. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah Hydra. Hydra it is. Like, I could also like spec Hydra here if I wanted to. I guess. 
instead of some other stuff. Maybe like, but you have to like either remove Behemoth or Hyrian or Harvestman Scythe. If you remove Giant's Blood or Scythe, then you like just gimp your regen. If you remove Hyrian and Crab, you like gimp your defense and like some elemental damage. So like there, there is a definite like trade-off with uh, with Hydra on this build. Like you can play it, but I don't know if I would recommend it. It's a lot better if you go like leech based and you like wanna heal from like attacking with your uh, runic bolts. But if you do that, then you also kinda have to stand still and attack a lot more than you wanna do actually on a bow like this. I mean, you wanna kinda like have the enemy like stand still inside the seal and all of your runes all the time as well. So you do you do wanna like face tank a little bit. But may not to the point where you like use your attacks all the time in between as well. Yeah, I like the gold push like Pretty much always plays GG Stash, I think, as well. And like, he doesn't hold back with GG Stash either. I think Vindicator is Gushier. I don't even think it's more damage. Wait, why did he go win? And maybe it's like a little bit more damage? Wait, no way, you just have to like cut... You have Wind Devils instead of Thermite Mines, right? And what else? You got more HP, right? You got more HP, you got more armor. You get more armored HP from like the Mogadrogan's line. You have like about the same region maybe. But you don't have blast shield. You can get the totem though. The totem can be like a nice replacement for raw shield, I guess. But it's like another button to press as well then. I actually kind of like Purifier for this, right now. I mean, you actually have like 2.6k armor with like all the armor buffs that we got. That was pretty nice. You have Upheaval. Yo, Kanar, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Any information when a new DLC happens for Grim Dawn? Uh, at the end of this year or early next year is what we know. So it's gonna take like another... At least like half a year, like another six months at least, I would say. If you are... Desiring more Grim Dawn before that though... The Season 6 will release before that. Season 6 will run on this current 1.2.1 patch. So. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be like Grim League happening for the season. Ah, uh, Grim League happening for the season. The Grim League season happening for the expansion pack, there we go. I mean, playtests for the season is gonna start like next week, but if you don't wanna like spoil yourself playtesting that, um, yeah, just like hold on to the. until the actual release. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, there's even a seasonal Discord. I have a season Discord as well. Which you should probably join at that point as well. Then. I mean, you can also ask any questions on like our, like on my Discord, but season Discord will be like the place to be, especially if you want to like trade as well. 
Um, I mean, there is gonna be like trade in the season, in the Grindelwald season, and you technically don't have to like be on the Discord anymore because it's all always gonna be like automated via like the website, right? So you can like browse the website for like items, kind of like a, you know, like a bazaar or like a merchant's guild or like a something like that. There's gonna be like two ladders just like last time. There's one softcore trade ladder and then there's one hardcore SSF ladder. The community is not big enough in my opinion to like split it up into like more than two like ladders. So it's either softcore trade, right? Like full full casual mode you could say, or like full you can do whatever you want, like as quickly as possible mode. And then like full tryhard mode like Hard cross as well. Yeah, <clears throat> no, a bloom. What the fuck? I'm gonna go back for the bloom. There is also an ongoing ad campaign for the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag ad, exactly. <laughs> oh, you mean the, the OnlyFans bots? Yeah, yikes. That's also another kind of ad campaign, I guess. That's another plague. Ongoing ad campaign, he says, yeah. Done with the PUE League as well. Really? What did you play? Did you really like do all Ubers or not interested in doing that this league? You quit day five. I mean, okay, you're playing trade, so like you're speeding up the process, obviously, but. Got baited into lighting arrow that I. The worst page you ever took. Oof. Right, hang on, wasn't there? Oh yeah, it's over here. It was so bad. Gotta make your own build, man. Only trust yourself. Your own build on PoE, please. I mean, you can do it. It's not impossible. I, I get what you're saying, but like it's not impossible. Just like Quinn, yeah. <laughs> Just brute force your own build every league. Ravager Paladin in like one minute. I mean, one minute is like not bad on the new patch, honestly, because like you can't use as much farm anymore, right? Can't juice up as crazily anymore. 
lost three mirrors by getting baited into the shit starter. Yeah, when you have to like overpay for items because everybody's playing it because it's meta and it's shit on top and it's like uh, fucking this bad. Then like you really like might have might have as well like play my own build. Like even if it's not better, at least the items are cheap for it. Put it to good use. Welcome. Oh, Or like at least cheaper on average. A blessed. Okay, I need one more point here, and then what? More points in biting code, and more points in word of renewal, probably. Or be like you and rip four characters in white maps on week one of the league. <laughs> Infinite content. Yeah, I mean, I also ripped my character that I played, so... Infinite content. It's also infinite content if you just never play the game and the content never stops existing. Like, it still exists even if you don't play. If you don't get any better ideas, you will just start your, your own builds on League Stars Good, again. You're back. I'm sure yeah, I like no. it a few months, but here it is. Yo, Stethos, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome back, man. 26 months. I mean, at least you like used 26 months, man. How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Good to see you, man. Did I have reflect on map? I mean, maybe he did. I don't know. No, I just uh, I just got chaos crystalled. He certainly didn't rip that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that like never happens to anybody ever buying the reflect on Pewee. I mean, to be fair, like, many new players just want to, like, you know, have, Good, like, back. big number DPS and stuff like that. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Thanks for the reset, amazing Loki. Thank you so much for the 11 months. Appreciate the Prime. How's the game going? Ah, it's going. It's going decently well. I mean... Could always be worse, could always be better, you know? I was doing fine. It's fun so far and we're not starving. Yet. So, it's fun. I do understand that glass cans are good for farming low tier stuff. Yeah, I mean, they're also like just fun for some people to like enjoy, I guess, but I don't know. Also, I think dying is not fun. Like, even on software, I think it's not fun. But they... Uh, some people just like to destroy content, I guess. So they just like play some squishy ranged off-screen builds. I also don't understand like how off-screening is fun. Like if you don't see the enemy, right? If you can't look your enemy into the eye, how is it even like fun killing the enemy? I don't get it. Maybe it's like a Grim Dawn problem, like Grim Dawn player mentality problem. You wanna be like close to your enemy, right, to kill it. You wanna like look at him like die to your attacks. Or get ragdolled away from your large hits and crits, you know? I don't know. To me, this is like more fun. Like, if I would off screen stuff, it's just more fun. A hundred percent delirious content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Honestly, haven't tapped into Delirium that much. Then you have 96% less damage, multi, and you're left with only 4% of your DPS against game buffed enemies. Holy moko. Alright. Well, then you need, like, any damage. Like, you need damage in the first place, right? Unless you play, like, I don't know, maybe some Reflect, but I mean... 
A reflect and PoE. I don't know about that. The first build on PoE that really took off was a Glacial Cascade Saboteur. Nice, nice. The Lurum is good for having infinite buying power early. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so like if you're playing economy, then it's pretty interesting. For me personally, I don't know why, but like economy in games just doesn't interest me at all. It just doesn't. I don't know why. I mean, it's interesting if you play like a city builder maybe, but in an ARPG. I don't know. <laughs> this doesn't interest me that much. I mean, unless you're like one of those like big RMT guys that like sells their stuff for RM like for real money, right? And you're actually like living up that. I can understand you like caring about it then, but otherwise, yeah. Do you like PvP the most in PvE? What's happened to the to the battleground kind of thing? Pewee battlegrounds. That was kind of cool. Does it still exist? Do people still play that? Or is that like what you're talking about and that one died? Couldn't play Pewee without trading. You would lose interest in the game before getting your build done. It depends like how important getting your build done is to you. To me it's more about the progression I would say usually. Haven't heard of the Battle Royale in PvE for a while. Are we talking about the Royale? Okay. <clears throat> the Battle Royale in PvE was honestly... It was kind of fun to be honest. It was fun for a while. A blessed welcome. 1v1 ranked PvE. Wait, there was an actual only one ladder in Pewee at some point? I had no idea. That's pretty cool. Yeah, level 100 PvP is usually just a clown fiesta in RPGs. Like low, low to mid level PvP is usually I fun. I mean, Grim Dawn. Right when we did the PvP tournaments in Grim Dawn, we also did level 20, for example, right? For like level level 20 PvP tournaments. You had like basically no gear, nothing, right? You had to like do a fresh start. You had one hour to level to level 20 and get some gear like that you found or like shopped for in the, in the in the shop and then go right that was like a tournament it was fun unfortunately like in grim dawn it's a bit like scuffed with like no servers and so on but i don't know like for for the for the lols right for the fun we could like still maybe like make another one like 
try to organize another one in the future, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty scuffed, like, setting it up properly. Uh, but, yeah. You will train early progression of the pathways. I mean, it's fun. And, to be fair, the only reason why my name on a character is in the game is because the developers, they liked those PvP tournaments a lot as well. So they were like, yeah, who won this tournament? Who won that tournament, right? And so they, they put all the winners of the tournaments into the, like, Pit and Act 2, right? That's why there's, like, three different, like, heroes that can spawn there, because those represent the three winners of the PvP tournament, like, the three PvP tournaments. Uh, one of them being myself. Kind of fun, just, I don't know. You would have to put in some work for Grim Dawn. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you could... Or, like, rather, you should probably, like, start with the season. Then there's gonna be the expansion at some point. Then... Depending on, like, how long it's gonna take to... to make the next season after that ready for the expansion. We might do like a PvP tournament maybe first, and then a season after the expansion releases also. Awesome. You got wrecked by wrecked by Protoss in Act 2. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Wait, did I get the second guy? No, not yet. But to be honest, like, even for low-level PvP, we had to, like, ban some things, because regen is, like, ridiculously OP at low levels. So I'm not sure, maybe, like, level 20 is too low. Maybe you want to be, like, level 30. To, like, make damage scaling matter a bit more. Wait, where the fuck is the guy? Am I blind? Doesn't he spawn like around here usually? Huh? Did I kill him but like not pick up the heart or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean you could like... You could get enough devotion points in like one hour to play Giant's Blood. And Giant's Blood was just like broken as fuck. So we banned like Giant's Blood, for example, and some other stuff as well. Okay, wait, hang on, am I stupid? Am I blind? You can only like spawn here, 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 and here. So I guess I killed him here, but then didn't realize that I already Killed him and forgot to pick up the heart or something. What the fuck am I doing? Wait, no? Dude, I'm so confused right now. What even happened? Does he not spawn? It's hard to find something when you rotate the camera. Mm -hmm. That's definitely the issue. Is someone archetype not being played? Yeah, there might be like some... I mean, with a new class as well, the Berserker, right? It's gonna be more fun. So, like, figure out some new stuff as well. I think right now with like how scuffed it is to set it up in the first place and also like how little the game has changed since the last PvP tournament. It's not like really worth like doing another one before the expansion hits. Okay, let me just like reset this. Like I'm going fucking insane here. What is this? Wait, it's the it's the last guy? Shit. 
Then I didn't go to the spot where the guys are, like the witches are being captured, right? Like being held captive. Any clues on how many new mastery combinations, uh, how the new mastery combinations will be called? Uh, we know one because Xantai was in my chat at some point and he did spoil one of them. We know that the Berserker and Old Keeper is called Zedat. That is one name that we know. And then there was the rumor with... Wait, no, I already have this one, like his heart. Wait, no, no, so it is, it is this guy missing, what the fuck? Why didn't he spawn? That's so weird. He should be like here, and then like here. We did check both of those spots. That's weird. Okay, so he's not here. Uh, there was like another rumor, or like, well, let's say a rumor. Uh, Zantai on the very, very initial stream for... Thanks about the kind of announcement, like last year, right? He said it like Nightblade and Berserker is going to be called Redblade. But apparently that has been revised and it's not going to be called Redblade. Because I guess there's too many things like called Redblade in the game and for some reason that like didn't work well then. I don't know. So they like decided on another name apparently for like Nightblade. Berserker, which we don't know yet. Dreadblade kind of sounds like Reaper, yeah. I agree too. Or like maybe like Berserker, Necromancer maybe as well. I mean, maybe the name got scrapped completely or the name just got like repurposed into Necromancer. Berserker and stuff. Where the fuck is the guy? Oh, he's here. I mean, yeah, that's where he usually is. Why did I not, why did I not see him last time? That's weird. Oh, well. There was one who guessed the nine combinations, of, oh, and Z said he had three correct ones on the forum, yeah. He didn't say which ones are correct, right? But you, yeah, yeah, I do, true. I do remember reading something like that. Like somebody was guessing them and he got three right. And Xanta just said he ha you have three right, but he didn't say like which ones are actually right. I really have this, what the fuck. Okay. Mm, yeah. Oh, it's you. The Ravager. It is Ravager. It I is Ravager. Done to scorn the Great One, but here on the hour, a, a massive burden and all. Who shall serve as the Ravager? Who do we choose? Mm. Honestly, I think in a build like this, you might want to choose like maybe even of Minds. Who's of Minds? Of Minds is. Orin, right? Yes, young Orin is am. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna do the actual boss right now, though. Fuck that. You've returned. And now forgot the altar of return. Oh yeah. Now that you have ever since score was a. Fan favorite. Do you have her? He, he is a meme among the community for sure. Our matron Malos. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. See you around. Did I always think I have like twenty seven percent? Stun rest for some reason. Oh yeah, by the way, they fixed this, right? With a with a patch? They fixed the positioning of the physical rest. It's centered now. Nice. Because it was like offset to the right before. They actually fixed it. Go around. I, it Not I just far. realized. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Extra playable game. Yeah, 
A dedicated legendary stash town? Wait, why legendary? I think they should make like a dedicated stash tab for materials and so on. All components and aftermaths and so on. Like a currency tab, you know? Basically. Can I mod that in? Anything UI related is very hard to do, to be honest. Like, you can't... It's it's kind of like baked into, into the... like. It's not something we can touch easily as modders, to be honest. Let's say it like that. You can't really mod the UI that well in this game. Wait, is this projectile, like, wider now? Hmm. Wide Boris projectile, yep. Pretty much. You know what I just realized? Now that we have the potions be for like 900 seconds and you can have like three of them only. I wonder if it's gonna be like new meta to basically like run them up, like run them all the time, maybe even. I mean, they still like cost materials, so you don't wanna like run them all the time. But you wanna like have them on your second bar, maybe. And then I like, use them whenever you need. You could also spam the ones from the factions that are like really cheap. And then you know what kind of gameplay that reminds me of? It reminds me of flasks and PUE in a way. I don't know if I'm hyped for that. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be that bad. I mean, the cooldown is like way, way, way longer, so. Literally will never be as taxing as PUE flasks. Is taxing to your hands. Yeah, Fury Plus Piano is um, not something I want to have in any other game, honestly, either. I mean, I understand how it works in PoE, and I kind of don't mind being the way it is in PoE right now. Um, but I mean, PoE 2 is not gonna have Quicksilver Flask anyway. Oh, but PoE 2 is gonna have mounts, and oh, you can shoot on top of mounts, so... Wait, mounts are just Quicksilver Flask? Hmm... Here you can at least automate the flasks. That's true, that's true, that's true. I mean, maybe you will be able to in Grand Dawn as well at some point. Cast one damage taken, you know, something like that, you know. And we already know that we're gonna get at least like modifiers for like Elixir of Spirit and Tunnel of Mending, right? Like these two are gonna get modifiers and also evade. Like these three skills are gonna basically like get skill modifiers, right? Um, not like in the traditional sense, but in, in some way or form you will basically be able to like add skill modifiers to maybe some gear or maybe some other stuff that will modify these down here. So maybe just gonna be like, I don't know, corrupt blood immunity, internal trauma damage immunity, who knows? 
bleed immunity. The reduction in bleed duration on pots. Ice cream stick. Rush. Oh shit, the kid. This boss used to be scary in the past. Hmm. Not anymore, I guess. At least not in this, like, freshly revamped, slightly old piece set. You played the. Um, I think it's for a canister bomb or something like that, or grenade. It's like a nade or a canister bomb weapon, I think. Oh, I think it's for grenade, actually. You just shot with it? Okay. I mean, I guess it works too. Are they making all the class purposes but or just, just this one? Uh, just this one, because this one sucked. The others are actually kind of fine, I think. Like, I mean, Markovian is literally like a top 20 contender right now. Or like, was at least in 1.2. Um, Deathmarked, I don't know. Deathmarked is like, kind of okay too. Like, it's definitely like a lot of damage. Maybe a bit squish, but like, definitely a lot of damage. Uh, what else exists there? There is Virtue. I mean, Virtue is a very safe old keeper set, like with Aegis. Like running around and spamming Aegis is like a very, very safe set. Also, not the worst damage, I think. What else is there? There is. Um, Ulzuin set for Demolitionist. I mean, that one was pretty sick. That one was. Like. Insane in my opinion, actually. It's probably like, still better than this set, honestly. Maybe even. Yeah, probably it is. Like, it's just defensively better. What else is there? For a cultist, Dreeks I mean, that one might be, like, maybe not that great. Seems a bit squishy. I gotta try Dreek set at some point, maybe. Seems rather squish. Shaman Ultra Set. Honestly, Ultra Set got buffed already like last patch. It's a lot better than before. Ultra Set used to be garbage, now it's like. I wouldn't say it's like S tier. It's it's good though, it's good. It's a good set now. Um Uroboruk set got buffed, or like I mean Brain Essence got buffed rather. Uroboruk set should be good too. Kind of. I mean yeah, it's pretty decent. What else is there? I mean, that's it, right? What's class number 5? Arcanas. Oh yeah, Iskandras? Ah, uh, Iskandras might be like... I'm gonna be one of the worst sets right now. But I'm not sure if it's because of Iskandra being bad, or like... Maybe Chosen not being... I mean, Chosen's a good skill as well, I don't know. I mean, Gridon has like many great skills. But if I had to like pick a worst class set right now, it would be probably either Iskandra or Dreeg. I think all others are better than those two. 
But I mean, they're like all close to each other. You can like play literally any of them and all of them are totally viable. Like when I say like one is like better than the other, like worse than the other in Grim Dawn, it's like very, very marginal differences, honestly, usually. Because the balance of this game is generally really good. It's not no like last epoch or PUE and so on where like damage is or like the balance is less like very widely different. Yeah, Avenger is just fucking boring. It is boring as hell, honestly. Like, it's a good build and it's a face tanker and it's one of the best face tankers in the game, but it's just boring as hell. I can totally understand that. It's just a very popular build because many people playing Grand Dawn, they just want to like mindlessly face tank everything. Which works well in this game if you play, for example, Avenger Water, but... It's not like fun to play, honestly. Unless you like doing exactly that. You didn't know if devotions exist? Oh boy. <laughs> it's like not opening the passive tree in PoE. <laughs> uh, almost as bad. Force is more fun than Avenger. Yeah, it is. Like, unironically, it is. Okay, Gargaball. More like Gargagon, right? Gargagon. Oh, okay, he did smack though. How can he smack? He can smack pretty hard. Yeah, come on, man. Welcome on, welcome on. It kind of takes the action of RPGs. I think it depends. I think melee face tank builds, or like, well, generally like melee builds, can be very action packed. If they're not as tanky as Avenger Water. Like, Avenger Water is just like the tankiest and most regen heavy and generally just like uninteractive like meta gameplay that you can have but meta gameplay in general like even some builds that can like face think some stuff but can't face think other stuff i think are generally in rpgs even like in something like pue some of the most fun builds you can play because they actually are like very interactive you wish they would revamp the debate part of the radagon set what's the bait part of the radagon right now Melee just needs a bit more mobility overall. I mean, I guess, I think like Grim Dawn melee has decent mobility, honestly. Like, you have like usually a Blitz or a Shadow Strike, you have like another movement skill on top, and then you have like Evade on top. Like, there is tons of mobility on melee, in my opinion. The Inquisitor part of Radagon. Hmm. I guess, yeah. The Inquisitor part is weird, it like has like bonus to auto sensor, right? It's pretty fucking weird. It converts like auto sensor to like some kind of like acid aura, I think. Why would you use sensor over Harbinger or Cortex exclusive? Well because it has RR on the set, right? No no like if you play if you play Radagon and you play Inquisitor, you definitely have to play Order of Sensor because it gives you like resistance reduction, right? So like it's not all that useless, but it's just like what Vitality, Acid, Inquisitor is maybe not the best idea in the first place. I mean the Order of Sensor part is fine though. It's a bit weird thematically, but it actually is totally fine. I think. Maybe not strong enough, like number wise, maybe not. Yeah. 
Or to use Oral Conviction Elemental Build. Did they change it having like... Does it still have burn damage and so on? No, they changed that, okay. Holy shit. I think Xanta changed that like after seeing uh, Sinitar G build. He changed that. It was like, really? People are using this for burn damage? And I moved it. Uh, don't do that, holy fuck. Lucifer has a nasty plan. A nasty plan, right? Just like... He has the nasty plan to throw Gollibor down on the floor, right? Yeah, yeah, that's probably what he's up to. But yeah, see you around, man. Thanks for watching. Halls of Torment? Halls of Torment is pretty cool, honestly. I'm like... All the former is pretty cool indeed. <clears throat> I've never played it yet, but I I did enjoy like watching some other streamers play it. It's pretty cool. I have not tested the Warring Swarm yet now. I mean, it's just quality of life. And... Okay, Algrim, let's see what you're made of. Come on, friend, let's do a friendly brawl. I'm totally not like trying to murder you with like pre stacking wounds here. Totally not sus, right? Uh, <laughs> What's wrong with you, brother? Why are you so weak? Why are you so weak? Just get your... Like, Algrim should, like, complain to create and, like, get his gear buffed, right? Algrim needs a buff. Justice for Algrim. Pathfinder, Ghetto Spire, Survivor, is a new game like that as well. Oh. And then Zenta is gonna tell Agrum to get good. Classic. Get good, Agrum. Agrum, proper super boss for Fangs of Astakarn. It's good to see the sun again. You're right. Oh, to the... It is indeed. Let us see the sun again together. Sun bro, I mean Algrim bro. Everybody who's fighting Algrim should lose their Black Legion Mammoth rep. Reset to zero. How dare you fight Algrim? True and real. Oops, how do I press a cluster there? Nice fat finger. At least this is like the act of clusters, so we're gonna get like some more clusters here. Did some ignite summoner flamethrower guy and hold a torment. I 
That sounds fun. Is it possible to play outside of Color Store? Well, I'm glad you I'm glad you asked, because if you wanna play the next Grim Dawn community season, then you will love Asset Color Store, because there is special gear support for Asset Color Store in that community league season as well. In the base game, I don't know. I think it kinda sucks in the base game. Yeah, Pierce is actually like not that bad in the base game. Pierce is like it's not like insanely great either, but even more support. I think it has enough support in the seasons already. It's strong enough, right? This was not an item spoiler, no it was not. No new item spoiler. Yeah, imagine adding even more, man. forward to painting the screen green in season 6. Yep, yep. Holy, my slow rest is so bad. If I get slowed, I'm like slow as fuck. It's like literally the only weakness of the board right now, I feel like. I have literally 0% slow rest right now. And that kinda sucks. And you don't really like need it for like putting down runes that badly, but... It's like kind of his bad. Teleport counters that. Uh, teleport scales with your casting speed, so if you are slowed, you also like the animation for your teleport will also be slower. The distance that you travel with your teleport is still the same though. Like the distance is not reduced by uh, slow. Weeks boots. Let's go, just get them. Just get them. Dude, I wanted to like stop after Barrel Home. I wanted to like stop like an hour, like half an hour ago. But the build is kind of fun. I mean, it's kind of OP as fuck, but it's also fun to play. And some Fury, yeah. It is, it is. Farming Creek set. Good luck with that. Three piece Creek first one. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, you don't ever play like more than three or two pieces in a way, right? Yeah, I'm addicted to camera rotation, honestly. I don't know, I just love it so much in this game. It just adds so much to like the, com the combat feel. Like, having your enemies like always up here and never like down here. Because of like better field of view. Or if you're like playing Shadow Strike, like... Uh, Shadow Strike into the corners of your screen as well. I don't know, it's just very nice. To me it has become like basically part of the gameplay loop, I don't know why, but it's just, it just feels good to use. I know like many people don't like it, but like many people like get dizzy like watching me use it all the time. I can understand that too. Hmm. Is there a way to speed up the rotation? So there's two ways you can rotate, right? You can either rotate with like keyboard, like key buttons, right? like these. And you cannot speed this up. Right? And then there's... I mean, you can also use the keyboard for this other function here. Uh, what is it? So there is... There's camera rotate left and right, right? These are slow as fuck. And then there's com camera rotate toggle. This is by default middle mouse, that's also what I'm using, but you can also like put this onto like another button on the keyboard if you want to. And you just like hold down this button, then move your mouse, right? And then this one is, I mean, this is this is very fast, right? I mean, you, do we need it faster than this? <laughs> it is fast as fuck, right? So yeah, TLDR, don't use the normal, like, turn left and turn right, but use the... Where it just says, like, camera rotation. It should, like, say, like, camera rotation toggle or something like that. Uh, th that one is good. The other one is just slow. Holy shit. Oh my god. Getting clapped into getting clapped. Eating all the projectiles. Speed slider would be nice, yeah. For sure, for sure. I just scroll up and down to turn the camera. But how do you zoom in and like look at your beautiful character then? I mean, I guess you'd never do that anymore. Anyway, but yeah, that's a good idea as well. Like, mouse wheel up and down to like turn as well. <laughs> Zooming in. Hey, this is a rolly stream now, right? Rory91 always less, likes to play the game like this. You better have a damn good reason to be here. Eh? As far as I know, eh? As far as I eh? As far That's as more eh? Muscle, as, far as, eh? as far as I eh? As eh? 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 As eh? 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 As far eh? 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 As eh? As far eh? As far as eh? The black I don't know. So, this is If you're the ethereal Eh? Playing zoomed in? Eh? Should we make another the Garland Purifier after this as well? Okay, we do the Warlock first, right? And then the Garland Purifier? Who's hyped for the Garland Purifier?
Yeah, we're not pure requirements, but we're bad chest knight. It's almost as bad chest as like Kriegs at Death Knight. You gotta do a full zoomed in run. What I wanted to do, there was, I don't know if it still works, but uh, there is a camera mod that like allows you to like basically play the game like first person. I wanted to do like a controller playthrough with like first person camera at some point. I still haven't done it. But I think it would be like legit pretty cool. Like you play it like a normal like RTS. I mean not RTS, like, uh, like an RPG basically. Like controller and RPG. Like, if anything, it should work with the controller, right? Oh, somebody made a video about it, like, one month ago as well? First-person shooter? There we go. Oh shit, no, no, DMCA, fuck you. <laughs> Dude, it's like it's like doom, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's doom music, right? I mean, okay, doom doom music might be okay, actually. Hang on. Oh no, no, doom. Uh... It's probably fine, honestly. Uh, it looks as good or bad as the original Doom, I feel like. But I'm pretty sure he's using the mod as well. Oh no. Miss Melty Marshmallows. Is this, is this the guy? Is this, is this the guy? Is this Mr. The Hidden Toxicity of the Grim Dawn community? Like, he used to give his uh, builds names like that. Like, Miss Sweaty Melty Cakes or something like that. Like, yeah, Reconnex, yeah, that's the guy, Reconnex. It's not Reconnex. Maybe it's just like using a Reconnex build, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure like the name is like a Reconnex name. Like build name. Ah, I've been expecting you, human. Name was given one. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate the support. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. You wanna see somebody find Ravager in first person? Dude, evade in first person. Oh. That would be fun as fuck. First person from down with the true epilepsy filter. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's a very colorful build, that's for sure. I like it too. This is a bit more diverse when it comes to the colors. It's not just lightning, not just cold, not just fire, it's like all of the colors, all of the elements. You have the slightly purplish seal, got the lightning rune, the fire rune, the coal rune. Pretty cool. With the purple gear. It's 
kind of like Pinatu. I guess. Pinatu is more like green and purple by default, right? But yeah, it's also nice. Very beautiful too. Yeah, you and what army? We. I was beginning. We. Well, you weren't lying about the Legion arriving. I had no. It's good to have Kree. I've spoken with Karinia has a. Come see what's left of Broadway. Will of fate, eh? Rest in peace. Oh, it's a good use. How many times have I finished this game? Close to a hundred times probably. Maybe even more, I have no idea at this point. But yeah, like with all the dead characters in top so I probably have made like a hundred characters. The outpost resistance more or less. There you are. What is it went in doubt rather more than this. Karinia's given me But yeah. They play Diablo nowadays. Which one? I think Grandona is better than any Diablo game. Both. I think, in my opinion, Grandona is better than Diablo 2, 3, and 4 combined. And 1 as well. Also, I mean, I personally think. This is my personal opinion, right? I personally think Diablo 4 is the best Diablo game there is. But it's also so bad that I still haven't bought it. But I think it's the best Diablo game there is. Because I think Diablo 3, 2, and 1 are at least currently in the current year even worse. I know like back in the day Diablo 2 was great. Back in the day Diablo 3 was also actually not that bad. But like nowadays it's just like better games, I don't know. Like Fury is better, Dusty Fox is better, Grindon is better. And honestly I'm actually thinking about like playing Diablo 4 right now. Because the season 4 is gonna be the best season of Diablo 4 ever. Like 100%. Because, well, the others were dog shit anyway. And the problem is still like the game underlying, like below the season, is kinda bad. Um, but then again, I was like watching somebody like play PTR and they were honing, right? And I was like, fuck me, honing? I don't know about honing, man. Like, season 4 is pretty cool, but then again, it also has honing, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's fine to disagree. I mean, I can, I can see why Diablo 2 was like great like 20 years ago. And if you have the nostalgia for it, I can still see why you still like it. Um, I can totally see that. Like, I can totally understand it. I just personally think that Diablo 4 is actually better than Diablo 2 right now. But I still don't think it's like a great game. Yeah, I mean, I played... Okay, the, the thing is, the first time I played Diablo 2 was after Grim Dawn, after Diablo 3, after Titan Quest even. The first time I played Diablo 2 was, like, shortly before D2R came out. Because I was, like, thinking about, like, maybe getting D2R. 
or like getting into D2 with like D2R. D2 or like, holy fuck, it's just an ancient game, I don't know. Like, I couldn't play it. And I, I did play through it, like, on normal difficulty at least. Up until, like, Bale. Like, I did clear, like, normal act five. But then I just couldn't anymore, like... It was just too old and clunky for me, I don't know why. And for some people, like, Grim Dawn is, like, too old and clunky as well already. I can also somewhat understand that. Even though I think, like, Grim Dawn feels... Way, 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 way smoother. The combat is like way more engaging than like in the other two, to me personally at least. The other two are is beautifully looking, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah I mean, this also, I mean, this likes to. I mean, I, I, I was watching this run like play the uh, Grim Dawn on stream. I, I did see his like first impressions firsthand and. There were some things that he like really hated about the game, um, like for example how much loot dropped from like totems and so on. And also on that patch that he was playing on, it was even worse than it is now right now. And on that part, I can somewhat agree with him. Some other parts, I feel like he just, I don't know, he just. I guess the game just didn't click for him, and that's fine too. The thing is, like even. What I think is really, really interesting though, he put Titan Quest over, like he played Titan Quest after Grim Dawn, and he thought Titan Quest is the better game than Grim Dawn. And I don't know where that's coming from, because like, it's so clunky to like even use skills in Titan Quest compared to Grim Dawn at least. I mean, it's still okay, but I feel so... Like, if you play Grim Dawn first and then Titan Quest, how can you think Titan Quest is better than Grim Dawn? I don't get it. Like, I really don't get it. The, yeah, okay. Zizrem does not like getting loot galore. And Grimdawn does give you like, a lot of loot and Titan Quest gives you less loot. Uh, so I can see that argument and if that's like what he is like mostly focusing on, then... I guess... You could say at least like the loot system is better in Titan Quest when it comes to like you get less items like it's better because you just get less items which i'm not also always sure if it's like a good or a bad thing no sets titan quest has sets though like health quest has sets no good, good ones. Uh, they are worse than Ingram Dawn, that's for sure. Yeah. They are definitely worse than Ingram Dawn, that's for sure. That's that's definitely true. I, I do also agree that like Grim Dawn set power is too high, generally. That's like the one problem I have with Grim Dawn atomization right now as well. Like the set power is just too high. Like sets are too OP. Yeah, Zetheran didn't like the rather dark atmosphere, I guess, in Grim Dawn. Which isn't even that different from PoE, to be honest. So. Like, Titan Quest is way more bright than you. Like, Titan Quest is more like Last Epoch, visually. But I mean, Zetheran also loves Last Epoch, so I guess it makes sense. Have you ever played Sacred One? I have not, no, actually. Many people tell me that I should play it at some point, but I've never played it in the past, now. The new items look like cardboard. The Grim Dawn items look like cardboard than the PoE items look like. I don't know. I, I don't know, like... Titan Quest didn't look like that? Huh? Oh yeah, I mean he also hated the movement speed, yeah. Like Titan Quest has a higher max movement speed than Grim Dawn. Uh, yeah. Makes more sense. 
It's funny though, because like he played some caster, and I, I know what skill he played when he was playing Barton Quest. And I also played that same skill at some point. And when I was playing that skill, it felt dog shit to cast it. Like it just felt like absolute dog shit. I don't know how you thought, like it feels good. It's interesting. Titan Quest has a game speed starter? Yeah, 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 it does. Like, I mean, Titan Quest on highest speed starter is like. Yeah, yeah, Titan Quest has like faster movement, like base movement Good speed, work. and Diablo 2 also has faster movement speed because Diablo 2 gameplay is just Enigma, right? That's like Diablo 2 gameplay. I mean, the OG, like, teleport, screen clear, teleport, screen clear, teleport, screen clear gameplay, that's Diablo 2 actually, right? It's not even POE, it's Diablo 2. Like the OG meta way, at least, to play Diablo 2. That is right. See you around. Holy fuck, my quests. Is there any black iron docks here? What's she saying? Awful nice of Creed to set aside reason. I'll be a deer and speak to Captain Wilfer. He'll fill you in. Wait, oh no, I need to like still do the other thing, I forgot. Right, 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 right. You wander and then backtrack to, or like do the loop, right? Yeah, yeah, Yep, 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 yep. Are most sets compared to my eyes? Yes. In Grim Dawn? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sets are OP as fuck right now, I think. They are way too OP. I mean, Diablo 2 League Start is like you play Sorcerer or you're trolling and then you reroll into like... I mean, I guess you could also like play Aura then maybe. And then you reroll into Enigma. Mm. But yeah, apart from that meta play, D2 is not that fast. From my personal experience, I would say like, apart from that, Diablo 2 is kind of low. But there's certain things, like if you play the meta, then it's giga fast. And endgame, or like at some point, like once you get Enigma, every character plays Enigma, right? And then the gameplay is like the same on every character. It's just like port, 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 cast some tornadoes or whatever on a druid or something like that, or some other shit on other classes, but it's always like port, cast, port, cast, port, cast. Yeah, Grand Dawn 3 movement sc skills still feels slow compared to PoE because like your movement speed. Like it's it's all about the movement speed cap. For somebody like this, like if you don't have like 200% movement speed, your game just feels slow too. And Enigma has like no cooldown, that's the other thing, right? Or like almost no cooldown, something like that. It's like you have you have like a displacement, but instead of like 3 second cooldown it has like 0 0.2 seconds cooldown or something like that, right? This build is also port cast, port cast. I mean, yeah, it kinda is. <laughs> it kinda is, to be honest. Have you go everything? And also, Grim Dawn is zoomed out. But if you play if you play port cast like this, it really like feels Faster, right? And you still have a cooldown. It's not like leap slam, but but 
But also that's why I personally like going down because it isn't just teleport spam. It has like a bit more like combat depth than just teleport spam. And there's a reason why like whenever I watch somebody like play Diablo 2, I have absolutely fucking zero desire to play that game ever. Whenever they're like playing Enigma or something like that. to hear good on I believe watching games on Megalol says the guy who like watches games all the time it's teleporms bad instead captain what I was I'm talking about not watching games for the gameplay To like get a first impression, you're never watching a game ever. Like you're not even like watching like a YouTube let's play or something like that. Or like a YouTube like video from like somebody like watching a gameplay. You only watch porn for the plot. It's like both matters, but like let's be real, right? Like there's always gonna be like a valid point when you see when you say you saw some video of some gameplay of some game and you didn't like it and thus you never bought it, right? That's like a better like argument, right? Like, like, because it didn't look fun to you personally. Or like you couldn't imagine yourself having fun playing that game. Yeah. Was the mission back before the city? I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. See you around. Got something to get stashed. To be honest, I didn't even look at the Diablo 2 planners because the gameplay didn't excite me enough. Like, usually... I would say I always, like, try to look at the actual gameplay first, and I, like, decide, okay, is this, like, fun to play or not? And then... I maybe give it a try myself even first. In-game, and, like, see how much I can also, like, you know, just do craft in the game. And then once I realize, okay, you need a planner for this, then I go for the planner, and that's fine, too. But if all the other stages before that don't even like feel fun to me, then I won't even touch the planner in the first place. Maybe Grim Dawn will be the Titan Quest of the next 15 years for some, the unsurpassable source of all things. Is that what Titan Quest does to some people? Maybe it is. I, mean, I guess it is. I mean, that's also like what the other two still is for some people as well. So, I mean, a any game can be that, I guess. You just like it playing the most. Like, it just like feels the best to play. Is there a mod that only keeps nighttime? Did they still not add it? Like, disabling this just puts everything to day only, right? But you can't, like, put it to night only. Still looking for that mod as well, I guess. Yeah. Like, a night only option would be so cool.
supposed to have flawless launch because he didn't play the game, he just looked at the plan all the time. I don't know, to me it's like playing the game is usually the enjoyment and theory crafting can be fun, but it's kind of like the work, right? So like you put in the work and then you get rewarded in the game by like having a fun and good feeling build that works properly, right? Um, so to me, when you look at the planner for like so many hours and you never like actually play the game, it's like like working but not getting paid you know <laughs> but i guess just like grundle modding right <clears throat> wasn't so broken it had a good engine i mean it was just like using crisis engine or something like that right like it's not they like they made the uh, engine themselves. They just like used the good engine and then like they made a shit game. Both that like, sh well, good engine. Imagine having fun the wrong way. I mean, shit. I mean, yeah. Obviously, what I'm saying might be like fun for me this way, but maybe not like, for somebody else. It, it might be fun. And the thing is, if it's if it's the other way around, then I'm like, even if the theory crafting is fun, if the gameplay isn't at least somewhat fun, then I would still feel like the theory crafting. It's like, why the fuck am I theory crafting for this unfun game anyway? Like, I would just like theory craft for another game instead of like it's actually fun to play. His graphs are amazing. I mean, they are. They are, they are, they are fun. What the fuck happened here? I can't open that. Oh yeah, I didn't do the one on the left. Ah shit, forgot about that one. Imagine playing this game, right? Imagine actually doing quests. I tried Grimtex. I have not I still haven't tried it now. I will have to try it at some point though. I, it's just, I mean, basically it's like an upscaler, right? It like scales up all the textures. Lost in Crown Hill, classic.
Has anybody in chat tried the Grim Tax mod? Existed. Okay. I should really try it. I was gonna try it at some point, then I kinda like forgot about it again. Like it got sidetracked because like 1.2 came out and then like expansion talk and yada yada yada, yada right? And like Rundor, uh, crate like wanting to like increase the quality of some of their textures on their side as well. But so far it's only been like the rocks, right? So look. I mean, they just like upscaled all the textures. That's all the model is doing, I think. Like, it does look better, I think. It is like a little bit. Like, uh, what is what? This is space game, this is Grim Tax? Or the other way around? Can't even tell. <laughs> Wait, what's what's the Grim Tax one? <laughs> this one, right? This is Grim Tax. Left is Grim Tax, right? Or the right one. I can't even tell. Uh, I have no idea. I mean, it looks different, but like this one looks, it looks more like, how do you say that in English? Like more... Left is Grimtex. I want to see the character, it's just a pixel setup. <laughs> I don't know, man, it's just like different lighting as well and so on. Yeah, the rocks on the ground look good on the left for sure. Yep, rock. Oh, 
What the fuck? I didn't click that, are you kidding me? I mean, I actually did, for some reason. I guess... I guess I did. I will enjoy crushing. When it's taken German lessons, you Germans must apologize to the whole world for this particular word. Obligatorische Verkehrsversicherung. What do you mean? It's just a normal word. It's like obligatory uh, car insurance, basically. That's what it means. That's like a basic word. Yeah. Can Barry say hello? <laughs> I mean, just get good, right? <laughs> like you can tell him, like your German friend told him to tell him, just get good. <laughs> I mean, it's not a word you should like learn early on, though. I mean, unless he's like a like a truck driver or something like that, who's like driving goods to Germany, then he should like probably know that word. But otherwise, I mean, even then, he just like he just needs to like know Versicherung and that's it, right? I don't know what he's like trying to become. Yeah, the proper term is Kraft Kraftfahrzeug. Uh, hopefully Versicherung, exactly. That's the actual word. Kraftfahrzeug, Haftpflicht, Versicherung is the actual word. Verkehrsversicherung is like... It's like the simplified word. <laughs> True. It's already simplified, what do you mean? Obligatorische Kraftfahrzeug Haftpflichtversicherung, right? That's like the actual proper term, I guess. Let's see. Okay, where the fuck is the second one? Slay uh, I really killed both, never mind. Oops. Those weren't words? Of course. Young Base Lord is also a word, apparently. Them. Yeah. Okay, let's see how fast like stage two dies when we like three stacks and units here. Oh wait, I'm gonna like three stack here, right? Three stack I'm like slightly out of range so that I like instep rock. Shit. We just like do some fireworks. It's fun. Play some runes. You could all just say Yarak. Yeah, but Yarak doesn't mean like the same as Kraftfahrzeug Haftpflichtversicherung, you know? It means uh, basically just Schwanz, right? That's, like that's a different word in German. Like that's a short word in German too, you know? <clears throat> Because it's uh, always short. I mean, what? Have the councilman good. Tell me, so can't afford. Oh, we are. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Put it to good use. 
Yeah, I mean, to be, yeah, yeah, to be fair, like, nobody, like, actually says the full word. They just say, like, Versicherung. Or, like, Autoversicherung. Something like that. Like, car insurance, basically. Like, nobody says, like, Kraftfahrzeug anymore. It's such a... I don't know, it almost sounds like... Like a Nazi word in a way, to be honest. Because they, they all had like these like Kraft Ausdrücke, you know. See anything you like. Kraft here, Kraft da. See you around. Oh, yeah. Panzerkraftwagen. I mean, no, Panzerkraftwagen. Just put multiple words together and that's all, yeah, like just, I mean, yeah. Car insurance, auto position, just like put them together into like one word, right? Same thing. Cringing at normal German words. I mean, there's a reason why like the... Volkswagen is called Volkswagen and not like Kraft durch Freudewagen, right? So, I mean... <clears throat> I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Cause you got rid of that shit. Anyway, um, I think I have enough OA to be honest. Could get like double DA here, and then maybe like one. I was gonna get an old series of wisdom, but maybe it's time for more of that sweet, sweet Arcanum dust. You will just stick to hello. It's fine. Rinder, Kennzeichnungs, Fleisch, Detektierungs, Überwachungs, Aufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. Yeah, that's actually a word, yeah, true. Like a formal word that like never anybody like uses ever, but it is an actual word. <laughs> Come see what's left of my wear. Why? Because they just like meshed like it's like Like okay, like imagine you have a sentence, right? And then you transform the sentence into like nominal style, right? So you remove the verb from the sentence. And then you just like put all remaining words together and you remove all the spaces, right? Like all the space bars. And that's like basically how those words happen. Come see what's left of my wares. What now? What now? Good armor on this is sick. 140 armor. Holy. When I'm contracted the first letters like every other language does. But that's not a word then, right? That's not a word then. That's just an acronym. I mean, the Rüffelt U E U G is the acronym for that word, right? Because it like kinda uses the like like this thing right here, right? Like the acronym. Like this thing right here. This this does use exact like this is exactly that, right? It like uses the first letters of every word. 
but it's but the resulting thing is an acronym it's not a word right but if you just use the word words and like put them together without the space bar then it's a word still right <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's the same thing. Like, if you, like, if you, if you have, like, like a term, right? Like car insurance, right? It, like, car insurance itself is basically like one word, right? Because it's the insurance of the car, right? So it's car insurance. And when something is like logically one word, you just remove the space in German. Right? Kinda. That's how it works. Like, why have two words when you can have just, like, one word? Because, like, logically, just, like... It, uh, it belongs together anyway, in that sense, right? Yeah, German grammar is a bit more complicated than English. Because, uh... It's, like, I don't know, closer to Greek grammar, I guess, or something like that. Yeah, it's like, why waste time saying many words when, like, one word does a trick, but then again, like, that one word is, like, as long as the other words together, so you didn't really, like, actually save time. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, car insurance supervision law. Exactly. That's how you would write, like, that word in German. You just, like, it, like, all belongs together, and then you just remove the spaces. That's, like, how German works. You know? But you can only do that if it has been basically like approved, right, that you can do that, that it's an actual word. And only if it's like officially an actual word, then you may remove all the spaces because then it's like an actual word. German efficiency, but not really. I mean, German efficiency is also like a myth in a way, I feel like. Like, German efficiency does not exist at all in like certain things. Like, bu German bu bureaucracy is probably like one of the most inefficient things I've ever experienced in my entire life. It's... It is so fucking retarded, honestly. Like, it's... Holy... It's so bad in so many ways. Like, it's insane. At least it exists. Well, yeah. It exists. So, in some other countries it doesn't exist, that's true. But holy, it's inefficient. It is terrible. Maybe I haven't, I don't know. I mean, I know... I have experienced, like, some... Some law stuff in Sweden. Compared to... Some stuff in Germany and... Oh, it's pretty inefficient. Like in Germany compared to Sweden at least. Not in all cases, but like in many cases. German obsession with rules. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is some truth to that. It's not a meme for no reason. It's also, like, I don't know. Like, many things are bloated in Germany, and there's, like, many lawyers, like, leeching off the bloated system, I think. Like. The system's very inefficient. But certain people are benefiting from that inefficient system and want to change, obviously. Yeah, they don't remove clutter, because without clutter they wouldn't have... 
like their job anymore. Or like at least some of them would like lose their job if there wasn't as much clutter. The government creates the laws. They also have like lawyers working for them, making like suggestions for laws. Or they're just like lawyers themselves. And I'm not like saying like all lawyers are like useless or like evil or something like that, obviously not. They are... it is a very important profession to have. Otherwise you just have chaos, so you do need them. I mean, yeah, the, the people like actually being Politicians are not necessarily lawyers, but they always have like lawyers working for them. Like all the counselors, basically. I mean, many scientists, or like some are in like politics, but they are more like in... Like not actual politics, but more like in like university, internal politics, stuff like that. But it's like a different kind of politics. Yeah, I mean, the most prominent are still like law and economics. Definitely. A degree in politics? Right, what do you learn when you have a degree in politics? You learn how to shit talk? Or... And obviously it's more than that. But... Yeah, 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 politics is just... Yeah. I to receive money from my lobby. From starters, yep. Now for my first trick. 
I'm gonna do whatever the lobby says. Say what people want to hear, but that's like every politician ever. They just all say like what their target group is wants to hear, right? Or like most of them at least. At least to like a certain degree. I mean that's that's like honestly like almost I mean, there are some politicians that are literally just that, that you might call populist, and then there's others that are not just that, but they are also still that, I would say. But I feel like one thing that I've noticed, like with the current 1.2.1 patch, is that for the campaign part at least, any build that was able to like face tank anything can already do it. Can I can still do it, right? But like some casters that couldn't before, I feel like can also do it now. So it's almost like the game. That's even easier. <laughs> At least for the campaign. But also, I mean, I'm playing like an endgame build in the campaign right now still, so... Yeah. How's that 1.2.1 physical obliteration thing going? Well, people have cried in the forum and then like... Some of the physical resistance has been, like, for some of the physical resistance deletion has been tuned down, so I still, like, have 27% physical here. And also we have, like, 5 billion armor now instead. So, I don't know. Kronodot only has the campaign. And SR, and Crucible, and Velasteels, but yeah. But I mean, to be fair, okay, I have high DA, I have high armor, I have 27 Fizzlers, I have 16k HP, I have Seed on top, I have Blast Shield on top, like, I shouldn't be surprised to, like, take the Trimble when I ship it. And I have, like, 4k regen as well, right? 4k, if, like, so things proc, I think. Almost 4k. I'll have a bit more DA and a bit more regen once I can reshuffle my augments. Purifier was always tanky. Oh yeah. Purifier was always giga tanky, wasn't it? I mean, I might have a different experience. I want to like maybe do like another fresh start, like with a warlock, for example, do like a complete like fresh start from one to one hundred to like see how the progression feels like, because it might feel a bit different there. Uh, but we'll see. Who knows? But maybe before that we run another purifier, we play we play batch as purifier, right? We play the Gallon. Who would have thought about that? Fresh start warlord warlock. Warlock. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm playing a top six unkillable stylish build after all, am I? This is really what it is now. That's pretty stylish, that's for sure.
You're playing a pet in PvE, do you actually like it? Holy... What is this? Does Sinitar G actually have a reminder in his top 6 uncutable abilities in the video? But actually what happened? Did he like predict the future? Did he predict this and like put a set? Oh wait, I thought Blast should activate it, it didn't even activate yet. <laughs> what the fuck dude, like... We cleared this? Like I was waiting for Blast to activate, right? But Blast didn't even activate. And you face tanked the entire thing. Like this used to kill you. Like two years ago. If you were just facing everything, if you're playing like a squishy build. And now Blast doesn't even activate? What? Oh my god. It's supposed to be harder. Outside of Ludrigan? Wait, did they actually nerf Ludrigan? I think we need like to add another like ten percent total damage modifier to like simply ultimate. Like everything ultimate is just like 10% harder by default. <laughs> you're careful, you're the tomb of the heretic. Here you have insanely dangerous domain modifiers. <laughs> never mind, reworked. With crazy mobs, <laughs> never mind, nerd. <laughs> And you don't need enough damage to blast through them, never mind long <laughs> cream. Uh kinda true, kinda true. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean remember when this guy was hard? Remember when the Grand Mago Smogonath was actually hard? I remember. I remember. <laughs> cool constitution, guys. The blast shit didn't even proc again, right? Didn't even proc fucking blast shield, man. How? Like, Zantai reduced the cooldown of this from 11 to 8 seconds, but you don't even need it anyway. It has a 5.5 second re recharge now. Oh my god. It has 5 second recharge and gives plus 5 max res, right? And fell absorbed on top, and it didn't even proc. Because the boss is too fucking easy. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. The favorite thing designers anti do is to periodically do big and bad work. Blindly and mechanics, fit in numerical values, thoughtlessly discarding the equipment and the ideas that people have worked hard to come up with. The characteristics, characteristics exhibited by Xantai in the game balance process include 1. Poor mathematics and unclear arithmetic operations. 2. Severe double standard. 3. 
extremely pure attitude. No service oriented man mindset as a game designer. <laughs> I mean, this is just the lead difficulty now. Like, what is this? Oh my god. Ay, ay. <laughs> Safe with me. Promise. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Let's just try it in Diablo 4. Wait, I have a clip for you, maybe. Uh, what's it called again? Do I have to play Diablo Diablo 4, Season 4, to actually die in this game? Or like, to die in an RPG? This game is seriously just... It's so, it's, a, it's so funny, I'm like riding this high, and now that I'm doing this, it's just like, alright, D... This game is seriously this is, just... This is fun, fun freeze, right? Seems very fun. Where, where's my off convection flask for this? It's so, it's, a, it's so funny. I'm like riding this high, and now that I'm doing this, it's just like, all right, D4 is bad oh, again. Brother, I, this a, guy stinks! <laughs> this game is seriously just. It's so <laughs> this I mean, okay, he like ran into the AOE, like the on, like all of these are either like just random like AOEs that explode all across the thing. But they're like all like on death AoEs, right? <laughs> he also had, I think, like, I mean, he isn't the most like try hard player and a bit more like casual oriented, right? Aaron, I mean, that's fine. And he died like, I think he died like many times in the PTR. And the only times he died was either when he was CC'd like this, perma CC'd, or to like on death explosions, right? I don't know, it seems fucking fun, right? That seems fucking fun. Iron well spent. Got something you need stashed. But then, then again, like, uh, not even proccing Blast Shoot against, like, supposedly the hardest dungeon boss in the game. It's maybe also not that much fun. I don't know. But then again, okay, I guess oh, build 2 OP, right? Build 2 OP. It was very hard to 3 Chronicles build. Just um, just equip the set and then use like aggressive for protection, right? I farmed like 50 billion years for this one, aggressive for protection. And then here we have the Red Lords of Readiness, right? Like very, very hard to get as well. I mean, the prefix is like totally, um, it's a rare prefix, but like it has vitality of Aether damage, right? So I mean, yeah. And then the pants are like, I mean, stone hide, of course, I guess, yeah. But of Scorching, I don't know. Like, it's not hard gear, right? This is literally a faction item. You just, like, get to the... You talk to the faction, you have the item. This is... I mean, okay. The gear is all kind of, like, high roll, of course, right? Because I do have, like, tons of this gear in my stash. Because I have played the game a lot. So I have, like, 10 Cine Touch. And, like, choose the best one out of those 10, of course, right? So it's, like, good rolls. Definitely good rolls. Which is also why I have like 27% physical resistance, whereas my Theocraft shows I should have like 17 only. But then again, like, wait. Hang on. Why do I have more physical resistance than a 1.2.0 Theorycraft where physical resistance was not... What? This Theorycraft right here, this is before physical resistance nerf, right? This is pre-nerf. This is post nerf. How is the number higher? What? What? 
How's the number higher after the nerf? Fizz is dead, by the way. <clears throat> Except for on this build, which... ...has literally 10% more physical resistance than before. And on top of that... ...has 400 more armor than before. And on top of that, has 300 more DA than before. But, like, this is literally the build, right? This is literally the same, like, I just uploaded the build, right? This is literally the same build. It was a bad speculation, I don't know. Okay, I lost some HP. I mean, they also nerfed HP a bit. Grim uses the average for this. I have, like, high rolls, but still. I mean, armor on... This stuff is a fixed value. It's it's a roll on the belt. Sure, I have, like, a high roll on the belt. I have a high roll maybe on the... Stone high prefix, which rolls 6 to 8. Actually, no, I have a low roll. So Grim Tools is using 7%. I have 6% in-game only. Devotions are all like fixed rolls. I mean, this flat armor is a fixed value. Like the only rolls are on the boots, uh, the pants and the, and the belt, right? For the armor. And that is a high roll, this is a low roll, so I guess it like evens out. And uh, the base armor value of all the items is also like always fixed, right? That's funny. Anyway, Fizzress is dead, right? Fizzress is dead. And... Um, yeah, the game is unplayably hard now. Sunder is crazy OP as fuck. The game is too hard, right? Shields are more useful, I don't know about like picks to be like actually useful, I don't think like people have experimented a lot with them yet, or like enough with them yet. So it's kinda hard to tell. But they have been fixed. Like they, they, they have been... ...made better against bigger hits. And some of the like percent values are also like better like for shield trees, right? So shields should be a lot better than before. The thing is, shields, um, people, the people that test mostly this game, they, I don't know if they like test shields that much right now, because they mostly care about damage, and shields is not damage, right, so, I don't know. And shields can be damage if you, like, can use a shield and then, like, get other damage, more damage otherwise, but, I don't know. A blitz build will like always use a shield, yeah. Shield is useful in like like one class and warlord. <laughs> Kinda. Otherwise, it's just like a physical resistance stick usually. I mean, they nerfed the percent armor on Soldier, and then like buffed it again a bit. So now it's like still slightly nerfed to compared to before, but... Uh, I don't know. They did nerf the Pizzler some shields a bit as well, you know. I think mostly on green shields though, not that much on legendaries that they... Like a little bit, maybe. I don't know, why, how does this build have 27% Fizzlers, man? I kinda wish Zantai did remove like Fizzlers on boots, maybe, I don't know. But uh, people are crying again, and then like he gave it to Fizzlers back, right? To be fair, these pieces have like triple 4% Fizzlers as well.
I mean, Storm Pets could have had something like, you know, internal trauma duration reduction. Or like a bit more armor or something like that instead, you know, or like the A. It's like half the reason to use a shit on a non warlord. I mean, they're still insanely strong and still like a bigger belt, like a bigger source of physics, I would say, than on like most other belts. Or like most other slots, rather. Dude, the snow is still insane, is it not? 8% armor is still good, actually. Gave Fizzlers back, but forgot to make mobs deal more damage. Yep. That's literally what happened. Anyway, Rune Binder, Purifier, good builds. You can also play Templar or... Oh, wait, not Templar. You can also play... Paladin. Or... Vindicator. Definitely a strong build. Strong, strong. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you around on the next one. You can hang out on my Discord and YouTube until then. Appreciate all the follows and all the support today. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. And let's go. Raid Maximus. Which Discord? All of the ones where, like, the ad campaign is going on for my OnlyFans, right? <coughs> I mean, what? Uh, yeah. Take care guys, see you around, bye bye.